George, would you like to yeah. tell all of our chats I'll what we've her. won? What you've won? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that means now I'm going to give each one of you a code. Um, and it is going to be a $10 voucher for our sponsor today, which is Shark Bite. And, and then they can use that to run their own, very own server on any of the games available on the platform. Huge. Okay, awesome. Let's, um, let's go. Yes. I'll, be se I'll be sending the... Fuck. What do I do? Oh, it like shut down. They're surrounding me. They're like on top of me. Oh, God. Holy fuck, dude. Well, I'm glad Oh, that was crisp. Wasn't there a body in here? I'm almost positive there was a fucking body in here and we saw it. Granny's room is locked and there are no vents. Great. You know what? Then just play. I'm I'm done listening to you. It's a horse. Kinsey says, go faster. I'm trying. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. Now, which way does this go again? Hello. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Alright. Um, there's nothing in this little side room, right? That I can do over here? With that crowbar? No, I'll check this way. No, okay, that ends right there. That's right. I remember. Okay, let's go back down. There must be another way down uh, into the basement from down here. I'm gonna check back there in a second. I just, oh, you know what? I've never actually been all the way over here. Oh my fuck! They're actually, uh, I wish. There is actually an abandoned hospital. Um, near me, Candy, that disconnected if he's still in chat, uh, mentioned, and I know for a fact this has happened too, because he told me about it before, he went on a tour through an abandoned hos uh, mental hospital, um, but he also went in there illegally once before too. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Let me, uh, play Bramble the Mountain King. I swear to fuck, if Hall of the Mountain King is not in this game, it's gonna be a it's gonna be the one negative I have. Oh why this dude's got fucking ups! This kid's eight years old, he's jumping like fucking Jordan. What the fuck was that? We don't even have a morgue here. Where do the body bags come from? What's going on? Oh boy. Oh, I have the same question. Perhaps in the early 80s, they said something was going on here. Jesus. What the fuck is that? Oh, God! What the fuck was that? I saw the light at the last second and then all of a sudden there was a fucking person there. Oh, what do we got over here? Keys! I wonder why I can't get into the machine room for. There's no door here, but there is there. So I need to go probably underneath. Okay. The answer is clear. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just got him. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, having a grand time. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh! I can't believe that happened. Oh! 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 No! Oh. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Yeah! Let's go, baby! Yeah, which key? Doesn't even tell me. Was was that? Looks like it came off of a plug and didn't do anything by itself. Oh, right, okay. Well, good thing he's not working. Fucking shit! Come on. Oh, no. Don't die yet. I have more batteries, but don't die yet. Very funny. I know what that sound is. It's the girl I just saw, right? What the fuck? Oh. You can't touch <laughs> me. <laughs> no, daddy. No, no, my game crashed. God oh, damn it. God. That's another elimination. <laughs> fuck. Oh, no. I can uh -oh. see they're already trying to grab. Yeah, they've been grabbing me this whole round. Nah, everyone over here has been really nice. Oh, hey, Phil! Nice. Oh, there goes power. Not nice. Fuck, we lost a lot of people. Oh, <laughs> oh no. That is, uh, not good. I don't know where I am. Um. Someone can clip that. That'd be that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah. Mhm. Mm In fact. Emotional. <laughs> what the fuck? I almost forgot to unmute. I did forget to unmute. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing lovely this Saturday evening. Uh, we had a bit of a interesting moment here. In my neck of the woods, we don't really get tornadoes. We'll get hurricanes, for sure. And uh, my phone yelled at me uh, about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes ago, screaming about a tornado warning that was going to be around for the following like 15 to 20 minutes. It was like, okay. And I just sat back like. Fortunately, nothing happened, but we're good. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Demonic, thank you for giving me the, uh, the 411 on the Twisted Metal show. I do have to watch that. Where am I at? I am in uh, South Shore, Massachusetts. It's not a typical place where there's tornadoes. There have been tornadoes here, but they're very few and far between. Great to watch from a porch. Yeah, unless they're next to you. Ki ho poly roly oly. Sup, Slizzy. How you doing, you glizzy gobbler? <laughs> uh, welcome in, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Uh. Ooh, it's a frothy one. Cheers. Yeah, a nice light Hellas lager, straight up German style, nothing special. Glizzy Gobbler, not the Glizzy Doctor, titty milk. 
<laughs> I don't think it was. I don't think it was titty milk. I'm pretty sure it's not. Did you hear that bang? Hello, sir. How are you, Wolfman's AKA Sleeve, also known as Sleevin? Thanks for the biddies. Hope you're doing well, bud. Um, <clears throat> so tonight is uh, going to be an interesting one. Um, so this game, Homebody, uh, has been making some rounds. It dropped in early June. Um, took me a while to get around to it, but uh, I believe even Heavy Hand Swings was like pushing for me to play it, which is weird because. When it comes to horror games, he's not usually a guy that's like in the know with stuff outside of like maybe AAA titles and whatnot. Not faulting him, but so when uh, he mentioned this, I was like, oh, okay. And then uh, Noxler played it, I think, last weekend into the early part of this past week, and um, he said he really enjoyed it. So I'm I'm happy to be playing it. Loading up Fuck Night. Oh, God. <laughs> Swell, just watching the flights on my other monitor. Oh, the fights. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Hopefully there's some good ones tonight. I haven't been, I haven't kept up on like UFC or MMA in general in a long time. Yeah, don't lie. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. So we got that going on. Um, and then I am, I didn't even check the poll yet. So I made a poll in Discord, by the way. And if you're not in the Discord, Highly recommend you go do so. We have polls there. We have good conversations, memes, questions of the day, a really raunchy ass NSFW channel. Uh, <laughs> is it the shoes? What's up, bud? Welcome in. Um, but we, yeah, so there's a poll that we have in there. Um, I was looking at potentially having a bit more organization how streams work, and it seems like the majority. Now I say majority, it's five people that voted. Um, voted for option one out of option two in terms of how to split up um, some handlings of streams. So the one that only has one vote right now, which is obviously just Doc Islands probably trolling, uh, we would take all three stream days, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and we'd cut them in half. So a half of... Uh, the stream is like a story driven or a triple-a game something that takes multiple streams to play um, And then the other half whether it's before or after would be like indie games and shorter games whatnot um, Oh, thank you kin. Thank you so much survive I will survive <laughs> um, So that option did not get many votes, which is fine uh, the other one would be more along the lines of ah! it'd be Saturdays and Mondays, or you know, potentially a Thursday and Saturday. Basically, the two of the the other two of those, because there's uh, only two days in between. Monday to Thursday, there's two days in between, and it kind of breaks up the flow a bit. But I was thinking, okay, maybe we do either the Saturday Monday or Thursday Saturday are our triple a or story driven longer games that way we're kind of in the flow of it for uh most of the week and it's in a small window and then um the opposite day whatever that happens to be um that would be the indie day to do uh you know indie horror games stuff that i've got from key mailer or lurk it you know whatever um Shit, everyone's hopping in here. Hello, hello. You got oofs in here? How's it going, man? Juan Dale, welcome back in. Hope you're all doing swell this evening. So, uh... So, yeah, so that, that seems to be the favorite one. And I'd like to check it out and see if that works. Yo, Plue, what's up? Welcome in, friend. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so with that in mind, this homebody game is, um... I think it was like five to six hours to beat. So we're not going to beat it tonight. Unless I'm, I'm a miraculous speedrunner. Blind running it, mind you. Uh, but I, I feel like we're going to end up doing, we're going to end up playing through most of this tonight, and then we will pick up the second half of it on Monday, and then whatever time we have left, maybe we'll play something we haven't beat yet, because I get a couple of games we, we never beat and never went back to. 
so who knows? Two towns over, a tornado ripped through to shit in a late night with tornado sirens going off. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have, um, so up where I am, Wandale, it's not many, we don't get tornadoes often around these parts, but we actually had a tornado warning for like a half an hour. I don't think anything touched down. I heard there was a report the town over that something came down, but it's unconfirmed. But I hope all, you and all your loved ones are safe, Wandale. Nature can be a scary bitch sometimes. Um, so yeah, so we got uh, that's rolling into Monday, and then um, Thursday, almost guaranteed, we're going to be playing a game called Welcome to Kowloon. In the Discord, um, I mentioned it earlier today, uh, so a few weeks ago, uh, we ended up playing a demo or a prototype called a depart or the word trapped backwards and it was like the body cam like angle first person like horror shooter and uh, It was fucking terrifying and I, I said wow. I really want more of this. I hope that this becomes a full game lo and behold a trailer dropped yesterday for welcome to Kowloon which is the full project that depart was basically a teaser for not like a teaser but like a like a pro they call it a prototype it's a prototype for this when does it come out tuesday yes august 1st this upcoming tuesday so i think we're gonna squeeze it on thursday it's from the same uh developer i i, I always screw up his name i think it's n4ba uh he's done uh nine child street uh wrong floor from the darkness i mean really really good fucking horror titles so i'm excited to be playing uh that as well saturday i still haven't fully decided yet i have a good idea but i wanted to see what everyone thought about the poll and i think i have my answer um so i think we'll end up doing uh saturday monday <clears throat> trying to hit moment which near where I live shit turning more active in different communities I'm in it's not working but gotta start slowish right yeah it's it's uh it's it's difficult oof um I feel you straight up like I'm in I, I jump into a lot of different streams I try to hang out for a bit and then like you know leave the tab up and I'll move to someone else ahead of them and I try to make my rounds um also working from home my workstations right there so i could turn over and just pop up like you know polish in the morning he'll uh you know he'll have his uh his stream going whatever happens to be going on whether it's some good music or he's playing like diablo or uh destiny whatever it is you know pop him up sometimes jam gamer's still a lot playing although he's been having some computer issues so hopefully he comes back soon but like, yeah i guess like a morning routine and then there's a bunch of ceos of screams in australia and they're streaming at their nighttime, which is our daytime here on the East Coast of the U.S. So I get to hang out with them. Uh, speaking of which, CEOs of Screams, please check out that Twitch team. Uh, you may recognize a few other names uh, that are already on the team, uh, but it's it's a really cool horror-centric, charity-driven stream uh, that I was fortunately added into uh, a couple weeks ago now. I think it was about three weeks ago. Time's been flying. Oh, tree, hello. <laughs> Boo. Um, yeah, side note. So I, I, they're not ready yet. I think I got like one test one done. Um, but VIPs are going to be able to pick out um, their own entrance. Uh, so when they make their first chat, the most me they send their first message in the chat for that particular stream, uh, either a sound or a video with sound will play. Um just alert all of us that this person's here. And uh, once I get all the VIPs hooked up, I'm gonna end up making a channel point redemption. So people that are not a VIP, um, you don't have to be a subscriber or anything, but if anyone that wants one, if you got the points for it, it's gonna be available to, to cash in for him. But yeah, I think he said he's coming back tonight maybe. Oh, really? That's awesome. I haven't been keeping up on it, to be honest. But I know he was worried it could have been a motherboard issue. But glad to see that 
Well, let's see, it's a, gr a fast turnaround maybe. Uh, oh, and one last piece of news, which we'll get to in a second, and hopefully, hopefully, we don't have to open this tonight. That'd be great. Lurk, have you on tab, daddy? <laughs> Thanks, Candy. Although for some reason, I believe Candy was my, uh, I believe she was my, uh, my, my tester and didn't want to work. Oh, wait, did you, oh, um, yeah, I, I don't know, it, I don't think I heard the sound. Maybe it's getting too quiet, but, uh. Yeah, I'll be for those that are VIPs. I'm yeah, adding save stuff. some of that meat from you. Know what I'm saying, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, Troy changed the innocent without quotes. No, that's perfect. Uh, so our dear friend Satan, who hangs out with us here in stream quite often, um, he uh, I know him obviously, uh, personally, uh, IRL, we have actually worked together. Um, for two different companies and uh, he goes give me your address I'm sending you something for the wheel and I was like great so I have removed beer from the wheel spin against my better judgment uh, and I added in from deathnuts.com which I'm pretty sure is the people behind the death nut challenge Crack balls, Carolina Reaper. These are little cheese balls with Carolina Reaper pepper infused into them somehow. Probably like um, sprinkles or whatnot. But uh, it's going to suck. These are going to suck big time. And without further ado, it's time to get that count down before I get yelled at by Meg. So, let's spin this bitch. I, I hope we don't have to do it tonight, oof. I'd be very upset. Everyday hero. Shoes! God damn it. I thought we were friends. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, so we've had this one, I think, last stream, actually. We got, it's kind of lucky for me. This is a hot rated hot sauce. They look good, though. They do look good. Uh, Satan did tell me that he actually ordered the ghost pepper version. So obviously, it's not as much heat as the Carolina Reaper. And he thought they were delicious. So it appears your hippos aren't as famished as you claim, Mr. Bond. <laughs> oh my God. What's up, Disconnected? Welcome in, bud. So yeah, so we're doing the uh, the Everyday Hero Hot Sauce from Gonzo. It is a uh, three out of three hot. Uh, we've got the Red Fresno Chili Mash, Ghost Chilies, Ancho Chilies, Garlic, Ginger, Apple Cider Vinegar, Water, and Cane Sugar. This is the Everyday Hero. Put it on everything. Cheers. Woo. God, this breakdown makes me want to call for an adult. Eat it with your mouth, as opposed to... Don't answer that. I want to try, but sometimes I can't even handle jalapenos. It's tough, man. It's... No, like, the guy who created the Carolina Reaper... I've watched videos of him eat it. Like, he, he doesn't put the whole thing in his mouth. He cuts into like a diagonal to try to only get the flesh without like the middle core because the core and the seeds right in the middle, that's where all the capsaicin lives. That's that, um, I don't want to say protein, but it's the, uh, it's the enzyme that gives the heat. Ooh. And the reaper, it grows like all through it. So you're fucked. So he takes a small sliver, pops it in. He's like, ah, oh! so even the guy who fucking made it, is like, this shit's rough. Jalapenos, yeah. 
jalapenos is who called them jalapenos but oh it was Knox that called them jalapenos <laughs> oh yeah those yep mm -hmm. we have um one of the hottest hot sauces i have here is um maruga scorpion pepper no bueno very fucking hot <laughs> yalaps or jalaps either way sounds good no flavor, just burnt like bleach. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. All right, we're at 25. I need to get down to 22. This is gonna break. Yep. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. I know where we're going with it now. I know why it does it, but I don't agree with it. Basically, the program I have, or application I have that does the counter, it forgets the... Uh, <laughs> it forgets the value and goes back to the default and I keep forgetting to change the default at every stream so it works which is like why do I have to fucking do that just feel like I was eating chemicals it feels that way spring time makes me want to call an adult <laughs> this band in general makes me want to fucking call an adult to start beating the shit out of people for no reason and go, I need to call my mom. All right. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna press my luck here. I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna press my luck. We're gonna do one more spin. One more spin. Don't fuck me on this, okay? You fucked me on this. God damn it. No, it's worse. It's the beef jerky. Son of a fuck. Me and my big mouth. <sighs> so yeah, this is, uh, we're getting close to the end of it. There's not much left in here. But uh, this is it, the Carolina Reaper beef jerky. Hate myself for having to do this. And Endeavor Endeavor was the one that purchased this off the throne wish list. By the way, it, oh God, it's gonna whiff of it. Oh. If you ever wanna look into, if you ever wanna add something to the wheel spin, you scroll down. There's the throne uh, wish list button. You press that and uh, it'll bring you to my throne wish list. There's already a couple things there. Um, there should be a suggest button somewhere on there too. Um, all you have to do is give the URL to whatever the item is that you think would be good to add to the wheel spin. And um, you're able to buy it yourself and it'll ship it right to me. I don't know your payment information. You don't know my address. It's all good. I add it to the list. So we've done that with this. And, uh, and that was for uh, Endeavor Endeavor. And then um, Laser Lady actually bought these, the Ghost Pepper Hard Candies, which are very good. Um, and then Satan, he bought these and shipped them to me directly because, again, we know each other IRL, so it's not a huge deal. I know nothing of spicy. These suck. So if I if I re recall correctly, I think jalapenos are like 8,000 to 12,000 uh, Scoville heat units. The hottest of Carolina Reapers ever hit was 2.2 million Scoville hot units. One year for Christmas, my ex got me Carolina Reaper jerk. I didn't know what it was, so I ate half the bag. Wow, no. How did you get through half the bag before you realized there was a problem? <laughs> oh my God, you must have been hungry. But yeah, this uh, this shit hurts. I'm, tr I'm also just trying to squeeze one up because I'm not putting my fingers in there. No way. It's quite difficult to... Finagle this one. Maybe if I looked at it from the... Nope, it's not working because the label is on the front. Why am I so smart? 
Sometimes it hurts, hurts, and sometimes it hurts so good. No, I... Mm. Carolina Reaper infused vodka shots. What? Do, do not put that into the universe. What are you doing, demonic? I guess that is pretty demonic of you. Really high heat tolerance. Ah, okay. Lucky you, man. I used to think I did. Maybe I did when I was younger. I don't know. Because I remember, like, I used to, like, absolutely just cover my food in hot sauce. Do not give a shit. Felt it more the next day. That tracks. Oh. All right, I got my piece here. God, it smells so bad. Back in the fridge that goes. Just one. Oh, I, I took that shot, just one. Oh God, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Maybe gloves next time. Um, no, I'm good. I'm really good with not touching my face. Um, I go and wash my hands after usually too. Jim and I had some wings the other day that were pretty hot. Oh, see, that's I don't know what it is, but like when I have chicken wings, I want dry rub, and like sure you can make them hot if you want. That's fine, but like the only time I ever want like a, a wet sauce on my chicken wings. Buffalo, fuck me up with buffalo, please. Just, I love the flavor of them. Those are Carolina Reaper wings too. Jesus, what the fuck, guys? I only had one and Jeff ate the rest? Damn! Worked at a bar and one of the bartenders made it. Oh my God, that's rude. Ugh. Let me, um. I'm gonna add another album to this playlist because this is gonna take a minute to, for me to get through all this. I know exactly which one to add. Boom, done. I just remember looking at your plate and the wings were gone and I was shook you ate them all like that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta eat them fast, I feel like. The slower you go, the longer it's gonna be. Kind of like how I'm sitting here stalling over this. I'm also gonna subtract three more points off of that. Holy shit, we're beneath 20. We have, uh, I can't do math today. That's six spins with one point left over. Getting close. I like dry ribs too, my favorite are garlic parm. Oh, yeah, in terms of flavor, yeah, you can't go wrong with garlic parm. I'm with you on that. My entire body was vibrating for several minutes after that. Oh yeah, yep, that's that fight or flight adrenaline takeover. So uh, this is our baby tonight. You can't really tell, but uh, it's it's pretty caked on there. You can see the color of it, so looks disgusting. Too damn funny. So he was gonna take them home, then they disappeared. <laughs> That's the right way to handle that. All right. Well, cheers, I guess. Oh, oh, where's the breakdown hit too? Oh, well, hello, Tater. Well, hello.
Oh, I have food now. One day, Jug's gonna make the trek down here and join us. Yeah. Ooh. Some type of pasta and chicken. Oh. Mmm. What? Of course she does. I just wanted to try it and put it in the fridge. And chicken and broccoli ziti is good. Thank you. <laughs> put your pajamas on. <sighs> but yeah, shoes, I would definitely take that. That offer sounds invigorating. I mean, I just want to hang with you guys anyways. Oh. <sighs> Holy fuck. This is just consistently building. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nope, it's not stopping. Oh. Chapstick. A necessity for all streamers. Oh. 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 oh, fuck. I promise we will have gameplay shortly. Oh, I'm just trying to get on top of the heat. Oh, it's in my ears now. I can feel it. Oh. Yo, Botak, what's up? Welcome in. I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pad. He does. God damn it. You know, I, I lowered the cooldown for that, and I'm just, it's I'm just getting hit more. Oh my god. <sighs> uh. <sighs> I just had a, a piece of Carolina Reaper beef jerky. I'm not tired, I'm in pain. Oh. 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 Very, very spicy, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Needs more cowbell. Bong 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 bong. 
Oh. Oh. Thanks for the lurk, man. Kid said to cuddle with me, so I'm gonna lurk until he changes his frickin' little mind. Hey, enjoy it. Seriously. If you got pets, hug them tight. <sighs> Love the fuck out of them. Especially when they get sprayed by skunks. Milk will help or cheese. Milk is never a good thing for me. I don't know what it is. I'm very different. I take a sip of milk when I have something spicy. I get a momentary relief and then it comes back worse. For me, it's been, it's been water and then like a lighter beer can help, but any type of fruit in there, don't bother. It's going to fuck you up. Um, and in case of really bad, where I'm like getting the, well, I, I have the shivers right now, but when I get the, uh, the adrenaline rush that makes like my, my face, like kind of lock up a bit, you know, the scary stuff, I have to go like, eat a piece of bread. <sighs> yeah, Jeff, I feel you. <clears throat> yeah, I have, I'll put milk in my cereal. And then if it's called for in a recipe for something, but otherwise, like, oh, I grew up, um, every dinner, we only had milk to drink. That was it. And, uh, it was skim milk too. <laughs> so like, I have like 1% or 2% nowadays. I'm like, oh my God, this milk is so rich. But, uh. Big fan of the uh, oat milk. Almond milk's okay. You could pass on it, but I think it's pretty good. White people, yeah. Sounds about right. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm gonna step away for just a moment. Um, I hope you all can hang for a bit. Enjoy some of the uh, old clips from the stream. When I come back, we're gonna start up home body. So don't go anywhere, all right? I'll be back. I swear, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's gonna be the kicker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I just. <laughs> May have just shit myself. <laughs> Dude, come on. Oh my god, what the fuck? No wonder he was running. Oh my god. Is he gonna come get me? Is he? I don't know where he is. Oh, that dude was right behind me. I All right. Oh, I saw it out in the distance. Just the lightest little, not little, but like out there. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? We're gonna die. We're gonna fucking die. Ah! Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Alright, well, no sense of putting a beak in there unless you just say, don't ever fucking go there again. There's... We're gonna have to rip the handle out of some fucking dead dude. Hopefully still dead dude. More nails. Can't wait till I find a nailer. I'm gonna have all these nails to shoot. Radiology. Oh boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to apply chapstick in a very sensual way.
films or something. Jesus fucking Christ. Why would you do that to me? My God, I almost fell off my fucking seat, dude. <laughs> he left us like Fry's dog in Futurama. Wow. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna kick the slippers off. <sighs> Whew. All right. I'm ready for this shit. Whatever it happens to be. <sighs> Let's uh, go. Uh. <laughs> so. The setting I ha I, I have uh, my control panel up because it actually had the uh... what the fuck is going on here? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Something just like froze up that I needed to turn the volume back up. There it is. Ay ay ay. So this is Homebody. Um, I know very little about this game. My understanding it's you and your friends. Excuse me. You're being hunted down by a killer of some sort, and apparently there's a bunch of puzzles. So, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm ready. Let's do it. English, please. Confirm. Well, that didn't last long. I guess I moved too much. How dare you, oof. <laughs> All right. I. Click the mouse on a location in the game world to move there. Double click to run. Alternatively, use those keys to walk and hold left shift to run. And tab brings up memory log. Gary's text. Call back if you see this. We're going to the Kroger down the road. Sorry if we miss you. The gate combination is the third number down on the post-it. See you soon. Third number down on the post-it. God damn it. <clears throat> Sorry, fault. I want to be comfortable. It, it is your fault. How dare you? All right, so... Apparently I can click and I'll just walk. That's fun. Or I could just, you know, tank control it. Which, I'm a big fan of tank controls. I grew up on them. What the fuck is that? Bro, wake up. 26 unread messages? Oh, slide to reply. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're in big shit. You were supposed to be somewhere. Rude, you and my cat. Unbelievable. Hey, Emily. You're not giving up already, are you? Enter? What am I pressing here? Did... Spacebar? Click? Click. Yes, I mean, no. I'm on my way there, kinda. Are you panicking? Do you need to pull over? I already did. I'm at the side of the road. I'm trying not to. I don't think I can do this. I already did. I'm at the side of the road. Already did. I'm at the side of the road. Yeah, it's me saying that. Okay. So where Emily? Already did what? Panicked or pulled over? Yes. Pulled over. I've got 2,600 messages from my friends. I know it's going to be bad news. I've been sitting at the side of the road for 20 minutes just trying to stay calm. I don't think I can handle it. I'm thinking about turning around. And you were hoping I'd give you permission? I would like permission to turn around. Yes. Look, you're not going to a funeral. You're going to a 
cool old house to hang out with your friends and watch a meteor shower. That sounds fun. <clears throat> you do this every year and you always seem to have a good time. First things first, hands on wheel, keen ignition, start driving. Okay. Well, quite the pushover, I see. There you go. Jesus. Fucking took off. Emily, it feels like you haven't left the apartment in weeks. Being in the middle of nowhere and watching meteor shower doesn't sound so bad, does it? <clears throat> it's not that. It's like they're sending me like pages and pages of instruction on how to get into this weird old house they rented. Like there's a keypad on the gate. And Gary sent me the code, but I, I just know I'm going to get locked out somehow and I'm going to run out of gas trying to get back. The cops are going to find me a week from now. A skeletal husk behind the wheel of my car clutching my phone. Isn't skeletal husk a local death metal band if trees here he'll know skeletal husk i feel like that's a band name you're spinning yourself in circles em you're fine you're safe they miss you that's what makes it so hard there's just more of an opportunity to let them down i i know i know they do i'm just fucked up about it <coughs> i'm already like four hours late it's gonna be another hour before i get there i think another hour is gonna make things that much worse would it hurt to just be honest with them about it? I don't know. I guess I don't know how to say I wasted a bunch of time stalling because I didn't want to come and not make it weird. <laughs> Things are already weird enough. I haven't spoken to any of them in almost a year. You really think they won't forgive you for that? I think it doesn't matter what I think. I think I'm panicking. Emily. What are you so afraid of? It's not much. You can recall important facts from your memory log. Click the folder icon on the top left corner or press tab to access your memory log. Yeah, we know it's the combination was 420. Wait, that's something different. This is the third one down. 8129. <clears throat> 420 must be for like a briefcase. It looks like it was a briefcase. Alright, let's get back in the car and drive. Yeah, Jesus. Come on, Emily. It looks like a nice spot. Probably someone's Airbnb. Looks like a Silent Hill game. Yeah, there's um this tank controls and stuff. So it feels nostalgic in a way. Oh, here we are. Look at this dude's hair. He was Cliff. Like Cliff from Cat Dog. Yo, with the greases. Oh, hey, Cliff. Wow, took one hit of that cigarette and tossed it and then walked inside. What a dickhead. Gary, there she is, the star of the show. <clears throat> Here comes fucking everybody else. Francine, you're finally here. Megan, yeah, long drive, huh? It wasn't that bad. I think all in all it was like three and a half hours. Felt more like six from here. We were getting worried about you. <laughs> Just only lie. I got to leave my work thing. My mom held me up. I ran into car trouble. Let's do my mom held me up. I stopped at my mom's place on the way over and she was being really clingy. You know how it goes. She kept finding little excuses to keep me there. If she's anything like mine, you probably had to reset her router a few times, too. Wow. And hey, I take it you got my text message. Yep, all of them. <laughs> cool. We were worried you wouldn't be able to get inside. <clears throat> Did Pete have any trouble getting here? Actually, Pete isn't here yet. Uh-oh. He's about 33 hours late. Yeah, he was supposed to be here last night. Last night, that's 33 hours? That's interesting. Worst of all, the owner of the house didn't want to let us in before everyone named on the rental was here. Yeah, like a server at Olive Garden not wanting to see this until our whole party had arrived. Oh, God. When you hear your family, though. 
It took some convincing for him to, tell, to let us stay. Is that why Mr. Nest gave us an hour of instruction on how to not wreck the place? I think he would have done that either way. He didn't strike me as the kind of guy who gets a lot of company. Italian Applebee's? <laughs> yeah. Not to be mean. Was that too mean? You're fine. Anyway, come on in, Emily. Make yourself comfortable. For real, we've got some catching up to do. How long it's been since I last saw you? Like, a year? Yeah, don't keep us waiting any longer. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hey, why don't I take your bag for you? Uh, okay. You're just being nice, Emily. Jesus. I get all mad at him. Hey, everybody's really happy to have you here. Not Cliff. I am too. And here we go. And so it begins. So Pete's not here yet. Either he, every, either people will think he's the killer, and then he shows up later, and we're like, oh, he's not the killer, or he's an accomplice, or or he's actually the killer. What is this thing? Examine lock. The lock mechanism doesn't have power. What? Halo cable leaves from the lock mechanism and into the other room. Well, that's not good. Check suitcase. Oh, the suitcase. Oh, I see. What do you got? Inspect. This is what I packed? I know I was in a hurry, but this is two pairs of pants and no underwear. <laughs> what the hell? This is so embarrassing. That's all that's in there? Damn it. Son of a bitch. Use interact reveal button to show interactive objects in the environment. Hold. Is that Tilda? I think it is Tilda. Highlight everything nearby that could be interacted with. Yeah, it's because it's not a bad button. There's this uh, light switch it looks like here. Uh, hello? Yeah, we'll flip that right back. And look at clock. It is 10.30. Alright, let's go try to figure out where this goes to. This yellow thing. Look at this. Examine power box. Strange power box mounted into the wall. Looks like it can provide power to one of two cables that leave the box on the left and right sides. But the box itself needs to be powered on first. There's a yellow and black striped cable coming into the bottom of the box from the floor. The yellow cable leaves from the left side of the box out into the foyer. The teal cable leaves from the right side and up into the ceiling. Back had some pizza? Awesome. Welcome in, Wandale. Alright. Uh... See. Examine console. <coughs> Bird mystery. <laughs> there he is, Doc Islands in all of his glory. 16 bit glory. Whoa, retro. Amazing how these things feel so brittle, but somehow they last forever. That's a good point. We play the game with you? Okay, push start button. Oops. I swear I'm really good at this. This is a whole different level. What happened here? Oh! Can you make meth in this game? No! Boing. So if I get on top of the eggs, that's good. Whoop, that's not on top of the egg, that's into the egg. Last life, and then we'll, oh no, that's it, okay. Now we can go talk to uh, Megan. 
Yeah, we gotta know what kind of pizza that is important. Pepperoni and chicken pizza, but chicken pizza I tried tastes like trench water. Oh god. Drug dealer sim. Megan. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, Emily, but I am so glad you're here. Why would that make me uncomfortable? Sure, it's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Megan. Just gonna keep it simple. Francie was actually pretty worried you weren't gonna come. She said you've been really busy with work lately. You and Francie must hang out all the time since she moved out there, huh? Uh, yeah, for sure. Dot, dot, dot. Speaking of which, sorry again that I'm so late. I haven't been in town for a while, so my mom is being needy. Jeez, yeah, I hope she's holding up okay, but I also hope you're holding up okay. Anyway, we're still waiting on Pete. Jeez, man, it's been so long. How have you been? How's your been treating you so far? Anyway, I'm gonna go say hi to everybody. Methlamen. <laughs> sure has, though I mean the list of updates is short. Not a bad thing. Just like, I'm still doing the same stuff. Working, gaming, having out-of-body experiences. You know how it goes. Oh. Out-of-body experiences? I'm not sure I do know how that goes. Maybe they're not out-of-body experiences exactly. What's it called? Sleep paralysis? Ugh. Isn't that the thing where you're held in an icy grip, motionless as a being beyond your understanding, stares at you through your doorway? Nah, that ain't it. Anyway, I'm good, is what I'm saying. How's your dad? Fine, I guess. If we just stick to talking about food and movies we liked, then it's all right. Like the only quality time I ever spend with him is watching TV and sounds, and I think I'm fine with that. Shit. Have you ever tried to play video games with him? Nah, he thinks they're dumb and too much work. He's not wrong. He just already went out to watch the Perseids. I'm gonna go say hi to the other kids. I'm gonna go, what's one of these Perseids? What's that? Oh, it's probably the meteor uh, shower. We went last night, yeah, it was a bummer not to have the whole group here, but it was good. Did you actually see a comet? Was it fun this time? We're gonna go out again, right? Did you actually see a comet? Nope. I gave my eyes time to adjust and everything. Burn the stars into my retinas. The Perseids are supposed to be at their peak this whole weekend, so it's not too late. Not that the meteor shower is actually why we do this. Francine and Cliff both said they saw one last night. Uh, how did Tripper treat you so far? Going okay. We've been having fun. It's going to see everybody. Everybody seems to have children over the last couple of years, even Cliff. But he's been a little testy as usual. Nature is cool and everything, but I think we're all getting tired. I would have been content to sit here and game the whole time. Those spin good? As opposed to straight up bad like he used to be? Yeah, he's been great. He's awkward as always, maybe more actually, but it's been good catching up with him, so I've been hearing him more than usual. What's the plan for tonight? Then I we're eating and watching movie, but until then I'm hoping to just sit here and game. Cliff is working on dinner right now, but he keeps saying he should be done soon. So you need to check in with me, Emily, but you should go say hi to everybody else. I'll still be here. Wait, by the wait, by the way, have you heard the house rules yet? Uh house rules? Yeah, it's one of those things. The owner of the house left us a big bind of rules we have to follow. They're pretty basic, except for some weirdly specific rules about silverware. The only part that really matters is that we're supposed to stay out of the cellar and the attic. Great. I'm not here to rock any boats. I wouldn't want to set foot in either of those places anyways. Wait, why? Now I want to know what I'm missing. Middle one sounds good. So is this girl do blow out drunk in basement? <laughs> no. I want to set foot in either of those places anyway. Right. In this old house, tetanus, shouldn't, tetanus doesn't sound great right now. There's a bed made up for you in the little bedroom by the study. Take your time unpacking, though. We're not going to be up to anything for a while, so you can get settled in. All right, bye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hello, father. Sounds like Selig's torture for kink CBT films. Jesus Christ, one day. <laughs> Hey, here's the rules binder. Bad. I'm the on the world. 
21 months. Thank you very much, my dear dad. Thank you for the subscription and continued uh, torture. <laughs> Mine is full of page and page notes on how to care for the house and its contents. The others weren't really kidding. It's kind of obsessive. I flipped through it a bit. Over to a page with the cellar and the attic being off limits. It gets weirdly personal about what an invasion of privacy would be to go into these areas without permission. Something about a fee for emotional damages. Wow. Dude's uh, a little off his fucking rocker, if you ask me. Let's talk to Gary. Hey, Emily. Gary, who are you talking to? I don't see anyone else My here. My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> and my, my day, day is, is ruined. ruined. Uh, anyway. I haven't really up in a while. The house is amazing. I'm going to catch up with everybody. All right, so let's do the house is amazing. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I'm sorry if the hoarder vibe is tough on your OCD brain. Is, well, sorry if it's shitty of me to call it your OCD brain. <laughs> I think, Gary, you're you're thoughtful to even think of it. No offense taken. Because you're right, my skin is crawling just looking at this place, but it's okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yikes. Never really caught up in a while. Where's Pete? Well, let's just catch up first. We talk about Pete. We haven't. Not that other that things have actually changed. That's mostly a good thing. I'm still noodling around on the Illustrator all day at the glove factory and hanging with Megan and Cliff a bunch. Life is pretty good. Is that the dude who was smoking outside? Uh, Cliff. He's over here. He was over here cooking. Maybe the guy turned both base and attic for porn sense since charge for damage. Figure out Uncle Johnny's sins. What the fuck, Wandale? Things are good at the glove factory. I'm glad this is still around for you. You're still working on comics. Of course. In the sense that I sit on ideas until the week before I need to write, draw, print, and assemble a run of minis for a con. It always works great. Basically what I do, it's so hard to resist waiting to the last moment. If you this sloppy, it's more indie. <laughs> Should read. Just seen the Gary. <laughs> if a zine is sloppy, it's more indie. Yeah, this is Gary. The minor is indie as it gets. Anyway, <laughs> things are good. I was out the other night with some friends. Went to uh, we went to a dive bar nearby to low key celebrate my pal Ashley's lizard's birthday. It would have any reason to go out and have fun. Drink too much and honored little bastard ends up at one of those touristy pick and mix candy shops, which is not a good thing for a drunk person to have access to. That is a good point. You just get too excited and start grabbing all the things you loved as a kid, and then you realize the gummy cola bottles suck, and it's like, why did I get so many of these? <laughs> anyway, it's pretty dumb fun, but fun nonetheless. Do you anything exciting lately? Yeah, we'll find out, Wandale. I went to breakfast with Lara last week. Fun. Where's Pete? I don't think anyone has heard from him today. He said he'd be here by like six, but you beat him here. Y'all were actually in touch with him? This is so irresponsible of him. I hope he's okay. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. He's just forgetful. I hope so. Something about it just seems so weird. What's the plan for tonight? Why? Welcome in, friendo. We were talking about watching a movie later, I guess. For now, I'm just going to watch Megan play video games and see if Cliff needs help in the kitchen. Cliff is working on dinner right now, but he says he should be done soon. Anyway, Emily, you just got here. You should go say hey to everybody else. I'll still be here. Everyone's like, oh, make sure you go talk to everybody else. Oh, great. Yeah, that's... Let's try to talk to Cliff here. Uh, what else is going on over here? Ooh, we got some other stuff first. Inspect pamphlet. What's cooking? Fire safety in the kitchen. Remember, food isn't the only thing you can burn. Always be careful with cooking. First degree burns. The burn may appear swollen and red. First degree burn only affects the first layer of skin. Second degree burns. Blisters, blotchiness, severe swelling. Both the outer and lower layers of the skin are affected. Third degree burns may appear white, Black, charred, waxy, or leathery. The skin has been destroyed down to the fatty tissue. Seek medical attention immediately. Did you know? 
Scalds from boiling water and steam cost thousands of hospital admissions a year? Don't let your guard down. Are you safe in your kitchen? Take this test and find out. You can safely put a stovetop fire with a cup of water. Wait. You can safely put out a stovetop fire with a cup of water? That's false. Uh, a third degree burn is painful. Um... I want to say true, or I'm going to say false. Burn injuries can can be treated with raw egg whites. I'm going to say true because it sounds ridiculous. Steam burns are not severe injuries. I'd say that's false. You only get tetanus from wound contact with rust. Uh, I think that's false. There's other ways to do it. Cause burning liquid to splash into your skin. False. Third degree burn is painless. False. Raw egg whites can contain salmonella and cause further infection. Okay, that was stupid. False. Steam is hot. It will burn badly. Unlike dry heat, steam heat can immediately penetrate to the lowest layers of skin and cause severe damage that won't be visible to the naked eye. Yep. False. Burns can give you tetanus. I, mean, I thought that was, yeah. Okay. I'm doing good, Twy. Pretty good. How are you tonight? Use UV light on teenager and parents and with attic and base for some. Oh, Jesus Christ, Wandale. These answers might all be false, but you know what's true? Staying safe is up to you. Wow. Examine the burner. Put on some tea, I guess. I can hide Save there. some of that meat for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little luck. <laughs> Alright, Cliff, let's talk. Hi, Cliff. Oh, hey. Who are you again? You look at me like you know who I am. I don't think you do. Cliff, go away. What a dick. Fuck, it's not. Oh no. How do I shut it off? Cliff, can you help? Cliff, go away. That actually sincerely just scared me. You fuck. Alright, so we lost power. Thank you, laser. Twice okay -ish. I think it's a pretty large project done today, though. Ooh, that's always good. Always feels good to have some of that, uh... Excuse you, Cliff. Always feels good to have a level of achievement. Megan's fucking pissed. She can't play video games. Ah. Huh. Examine in a glass duck. It's a whole book. It is literally a whole fucking book they put into the game. <laughs> God, I can't read that. It might be on a specific page you have to get to, I bet. What's here? Never mind. It's not 420. Okay. Reminder, the fluid in this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. When improperly calibrated, pumps positioned above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For pumps positioned below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. Proceed further. Oops. Uh, it's a light switch and there's something over here. Some newspaper, maybe? Or is it a, a newspaper article? Definitely all important. <laughs> the Chimpton Tipper, October 8th, 1978. Review. Carpenter's Deli at the end of its struggle. Picture. Carpenter's Deli at its heyday. Its wait staffs running the corner booth of Main State customer and self-described local guru, Parker Nest. Some, com some commenters noted a correlation between Nest disappearing from his daily lunches and the eventuality of Carpenter's downfall. 
Interesting. What do we got here? Wow. Lots of uh, little gizmos around here. The puzzles. I'm assuming it's locked. Yep, okay. And the light switch is not gonna magically just work. Press the button for the garage door opener. It does nothing. The light is on, so it seems to be getting power. It must be broken. Guess the front door is the only way out. Well, that's not very good. Can I go over here? No. Nope. All right, well, that's the garage. Nothing else to do in here. We don't have any UV. Read guest book. Oh, God. This is the coolest Airbnb I've ever rented. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. Nice leave a written note for once on real paper even. Cliff. God. And inspect the cables. Two heavy two heavy gauge cables, one orange, one blue. Lead from the ceiling and down into the floor. going this way nothing that way okay what was that noise Megan Emily we feel seriously wrong here I wish I could tell you you were being irrational. Oh boy, that's not good. I'll try to go upstairs. Oh fuck! What the fuck? Okay. That's how the game starts. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, it's okay, I see. I'm gonna Wait. Megan, what the what is this? Where am I? Just have, what the fuck is happening? Oh, so okay, so this isn't like a retry. This is we're doing the same thing. Good to see you too, Megan. Are you doing all right? Megan, something's up here. I was just here. I just saw this place. All of you guys. I'm fine. Sorry, I'm late. What? You look pretty rattled. Long day. They killed us, it came from nowhere. I'm serious, Megan, something is wrong. I was already here, we already did this. Can you even hear me? Please listen to me. Yeah, I just stressed out from filming stuff. Thank God. You remember something strange happening? Cliff was kind of shitty when I said hi to him. Have you noticed anything? This is right, somebody else has to know what's up. Wow, he's actually responsive. You take the emotes of the way, or he's asking about the drive? Never mind. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Cliff, 
You're here. Give me some space, okay? Jesus. All right. Oh, hey, Gary. Was drive that stressful? No. No, no, I think I'm just disoriented. Do you remember something messed up just now? It was kind of shitty when I said hi to him. Have you noticed anything? Is he mad at me? Oh, man. Is he acting like he's mad at you? Yes, I think he, I think I need his help to get out of this mess. He's actually cold shoulder, shouldering for months. Uh, one Dale, none of that, dude. Come on. Even more than usual. Make sure you stretch out Ooh. those cream hamstrings. We'll do. Oh, thank you. I don't remember him saying anything particularly shitty. Come to think of it, though, I don't remember him saying anything about you for a while. Even when I've brought you up. Shit, so you think he's mad at me? I wonder if he's annoyed that I got here late. I'm worried he resents me for moving away. I'm worried... Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I hate to value the fear, but yeah... He keeps bringing up how you live in the big city that you're too good for us. There's all he would talk about for a while. Around the time he first started clinging to me constantly. Yikes, sorry about that. It is what it is. I've really missed him a lot. You two are still super close, right? I guess it's too late now that we're all gonna die. But that's not what I selected. I got the spins down. Yeah, almost proud of me. Wow. Well, real quick. Satan sent something to me in the mail. Crack balls. Carolina Reaper crack balls. They're like cheese balls with Carolina Reaper. It's on the wheel. Oh, yeah, delicious. Absolutely. Like, there'll be no problem. You and I both know he wouldn't react well if I actually talked to him about it. No, Meg. No. <laughs> this is going to take some subterfuge, and I can't promise it'll be done by the end of the night. But I'll try to bring it up. I wish you could just talk to him regular style. Sounds like a burden. If we don't get out of here, a little progress isn't going to amount to much. Thank you, Gary. That means a lot. Of course, buddy. You remember something messed up just now? This isn't right. Somebody else has to know what's up. Like, I had this weird dream of something scary happening. That would have been a welcome adrenaline spike, buddy. Remember that Hills Have Eyes slash Texas Chainsaw situation in college? So, no, you don't remember the power going out? You remember us all getting murdered? Yeah, I do. We were driving southwards in the mountains. What the hell? Really fun center. We thought it'd be good for a laugh. Yep. Our smug detached iron lit us right into a creepy old ghost town. It was cartoonish. I'm not trying one now. <laughs> a car didn't stop for a second when he got to the abandoned go-kart track. Lumen had a shotgun in his lap. Gary, please, this time is so much more serious. A car didn't stop for a second when we got to the abandoned go-kart track. The people that are there so fast to believe we got a second look at the place. Still can't believe that wasn't a nightmare. Are you feeling okay, Emily? You look like you did it when you got out of there. You really can't hear me when I talk about what happened, can you? I don't think I can handle this. I guess it's just my imagination. <laughs> Jesus. We should go lie down or something. You've had a long night, haven't you? Like, we're supposed to have a relaxing weekend. Yeah. Maybe I just need to calm down. I don't think that's correct. Gib, twi try it. Oh, boy. You're all insane. You want to talk to me now, bud? Come on, Cliff. Where do you think he's hiding the body zemlin? You're gonna save some of that meat for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> huh? The guy who owns the place, Nest. I know he's got skeletons in one of these closets, kept just out of sight. 
Incidentally, those closets will probably be a good place to hide when he shows up with an axe. Do you remember something messed up just now? Like, I had this weird dream of something scary happening. What? Didn't you walk in the door like a minute ago? I was driving here alone. Should I be taking your keys? Please fuck, one of you guys has to be able to hear this. This can't just be my imagination. That thing is gonna be back soon. You know, if I'm being honest, I was worried about this weekend. It wasn't gonna go too well. Oh my god. Sure I do. It's been really nice seeing everybody. You seem kind of stressed out. You should go relax for a few. Well, I'm trying to say words and they're changing. Cliff? Are you doing okay, Emily? Or maybe you should go sit down or something. Damn it. Okay. So where's everybody else? I'm not going back up there. You can suck it. Let's see if the newspaper changed. No, it's the same one. Hmm. Gary has a poop stain in his underwear. I don't know how you could see that. He has pants on. Shit. I'm definitely supposed to go upstairs. Fuck. God damn it, tree. Wait. This door is closed now. Just get ready to run. Hello? Gary get up here so fast. There's Francine. August 20th, 1974. It's happening last Tuesday. The group of young men and women run a gamut of creative and professional aspirations. A writer here, a hyper-realist painter here, an industrial engineer turned performance artist beside. The latter would be Clara Jones, whose reputation rapidly rose throughout the past year as a holder of revivalist happenings of the highest order. Her work dazzling and frustrating poets and academics alike. Just last week, the group to which Jones belongs gathered a dis disused steel plant beneath a meteor shower to take in her latest work, orchestrated with her creative partner, Parker Nest. Can I fucking help you, Gary? Gary, hey. Emily, so happy you're here. I... I'm so happy you're here. How are you feeling? Terrible. You were just downstairs. I'm fine. Fine isn't a feeling, but I'll take it. How was the convention? It wasn't worth it. I spent two days in a hotel with eight other people. Slipped on a pile of towels under an ironing board. Oof. So I'm glad you're here. Are you excited to get out of there and see the Perseids? I guess so. Aw oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm all shaky. feel like I drink a ton of coffee. But I had to stop doing that years ago. Wow, you're pretty into space stuff now, huh? Oh, Emily, I don't know if this is a door you want to open. I spent a lot of time on astronomy Wikipedia lately. It's a pestilence. Maybe some other time. Okay, so to start out, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a Perseid? We call the Perseid... God damn it. The Swift Tuttle. It has this whole cloud of bits that falls around its orbit, and those bits get burned up in our atmosphere, hence the streaks of light. In fact, some of those little bits have been a part of the cloud for a thousand years. Could doors stop opening and closing like that? Neat. Isn't it? Think about how it went so far away just to come right back to us again. No offense, but you seem kind of off somehow. Maybe you go take a breather or something. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Francine. So, Francine, I'm here. Oh, hey, Emily. Glad you could make it. Your room's down the hall. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? I kind of wish I hadn't made it. Whoa. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? No, we've been plenty busy without you, Emily. 
We don't have to watch the proceeds last night. Things are moving. Well, thanks for putting this whole thing together. Again. No problem. We've been well. I've been good. Really busy, just non-stop working. Seems like it's been paying off. I saw a Pumberton at Borders. Congrats. Thanks. My third grade art teacher started writing books for her grandkids. I needed someone to draw them, and we had kept in touch online. But I kind of lucked into it. How nice. That's very sweet. Since you're here, have you heard the house rules yet? The guy who owns the place is pretty precious about it, huh? Yeah. I think this place is just important to him. But I'm glad you're all caught up. Oh, and by the way, something's wrong in the bathroom. That's not the start of a good story. Nope. They're old pipes, I guess, and they get backed up sometimes. They work, but there's this big weird pump on the wall that's supposed to keep things flowing. Oh yeah, in the garage, we already found it. Queen Bee, welcome in, how you doing? Right away, Cliff came in and messed with it, and I yelled at him, and now we're not going to touch it again. Spoopy. Glad to hear you're doing okay. Got it. Cool. Do you have a feeling of deja vu, Francine? This isn't right. Something else has to know what's up. Yeah, let's do the deja vu line. Like, I feel like we've been here in this room before. In a nostalgia way, you mean? No, like literal. Then, no. Are you doing okay, Emily? I just remember being here in this room before, being the th before that thing showed up. I didn't make it up here before it showed up. This really doesn't feel right. No, I think I should sit down. Oh, what the fuck? Are you dehydrated? Is your blood sugar low? You seem kind of stressed out. You should go relax for a few. All right, well, I'm gonna go see what this door goes to. Seats for construction projects. A lot of sheet metal and rebar. Bees, dead bees in division in case in tiny plastic trays, but still. Empty. Oh, Christmas ornaments. Small plastic baby figurines, Jesus. Rocks. Tiny unmarked vials. Rulers of various shapes and sizes. Rubber bands. I chew my nails and then I twiddle my thumbs. I'm real nervous, but it sure is fun. Come on, baby. You drive me crazy. Goodness gracious. Great, Great balls, balls of, of fire. fire. What's up, Satan? Welcome in, Ming. The drawer's full of dirt. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. Oh, boy. Ads. Ugh. The drawer's full of various dyes. Six-sided, 12-sided, 20-sided. Oh, yeah, man, just uh, hanging out, having some fun playing this uh, this game. Inside drawer 12, there's a ripped piece of paper. It's page 110. The text is about something called the Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. Where's the book this is missing from? Ah, that's downstairs. Page 110. Empty can of some off-brand energy drink. Tiny skulls. Probably mice. Let's go with mice. Drawers full of pens. Full of screws. Oh, all right, there's nothing great there, really. Some books over here, it looks like. Examine Dracula. The Bram Stoker Dracula. Manuscript page. Come hell or high waters, part one festivity. Someone in a corner was playing a saw with a boy. The bow poorly in the theremin wobble of a screech with the house till the man caught the bow on the ragged teeth. What the fuck is this? Thanks, let me know, Twy. Oh my god, I noticed that that was Francine right there. Froze. Oh, this is your room. Look at this fucking picture. Examine the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita? The Song Celestial. Gesundheit. <laughs> What's up, Wheeler?
Oh, that's just to do that light? The teal wires lead up to a box with a little spotlight. I guess the power box living room powers this on? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know where you're getting the Gary shit himself. It doesn't make much sense to me. Eulogy for the chosen few. Spec pamphlet. A safe kid's guide to logging online. Always ask for parents' permission before surfing the web. Sass! Welcome in, friend. <laughs> Loud scream incoming. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what's up, Sass? How you doing? How was stream? What were you playing? Riot, welcome in. Feral, welcome in. Hope you both are doing well. We're, uh... We're just having some fun up in here. Playing, uh... Homebody, which has been interesting so far. Hope you're all doing swell. Um... For anyone that just came over in the raid, I ask but just one favor. Outside of the, the little heart follow button... Uh, if you could please follow Channel 13 Har on YouTube, or subscribe to them, rather. Uh, I'd love you forever. They put out a bunch of jump scare compilations. Uh, they're taking a little bit of a break. Coming back October 1st with brand new episodes, so, uh, hit the, hit subscribe now before you forget, and that way October 1st hits, you're ready to go. Good, good, we played some game called Paranoia Place, which was pretty good, but hard, and then saw, uh, ran some trials. Ooh, nice. Noise. How far are you in trials? Are you, have you been reborn yet? You don't give any personal information. See something that makes you feel funny. Tell the trust adult right away. <laughs> Never going to meet someone you met on the internet in real life, ever. Very bad things happen to you. Ask yourself, can you ever really know a person? Would you even want to? If you wouldn't say it in front of grandma, don't say it online. Don't open emails or IMs from strangers. IMs. They could have viruses, bad pictures, or could just be trying to play a mean trick on you. Don't risk it. Not born yet, Sally, but I'm working my way through X slowly. Nice. I'm up to um five currently. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Fuck! God damn it. Time to hide. You're on the fourth one? Nice. Thank you, Anonymous, for the bits. So something tells me this dude's gonna be by soon. Because the power went out last time, and he was upstairs already. So either he's coming down from the attic, or when I was doing my laps, he somehow came up from... Oh, no. He had to have been in the basement because the door was open. And it was locked before. So he somehow made his way upstairs. And when I went to come upstairs, I ran into him. I kind of want to check on that computer, but I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, fuck. Name of the power box. The computer's on uninterruptible power supply. I guess that means it's important. Good to know. Post it note. Next to the keypad diagram, there's a sticky note. All that's on is a number written in thin open block letters 12. Black electronic lock, maybe from the 80s. The illustrations have the gauzy airbrush look that. They did then. It says it has an optional electromechanical failsafe feature that lets it automatically deactivate on loss of power. Uh-oh. 
Coming the flyer's handwritten note. God damn it, Meg. For a second, I got really scared about that. Let's read the note. Claire, it's only be coming by from electro electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the password specified on the form and lock up the schematic and combination in the cellar cage when done. Don't let them enter the attic. Thank you. Parker, why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? I can't tell if you're working to keep something out or keep something in. And why would they even want to go in the attic? I want to see I want to see you leave the house again someday. Jesus. What do we got here? Oh, it's Minesweeper. Aha! Nice. So it's got, this one's got to... Oh, fuck. I can't mark it as such. Okay. So we know that this one's definitely a mine. And this one has to be a mine. So this is nothing. So yeah. So this you have one. And you've got two. This is definitely one. So it's a 50-50 shot. Fuck it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. There we go. I feel like I heard someone. I definitely feel like I heard someone walking around. Come on, man. God damn it, tree. Zone him right there with keyboard cat. Thanks, Z. <laughs> well then, that's a door. Fuck. Are the pa yep, page one ten. Desk notes twelve. I can still hear him. Oh, yeah. You welcome, Jug. Note the time. Yeah, it was like I think it was like quarter of eleven when he came out. Yeah, it looks like it comes out of this. It, it must be an elevator over there to get from the basement up here. All right, perfect. Seems like they're gone. Check machine. What the fuck? Did this break? Oh my god, it broke. If you go to a hiding spot too many times, it fucking breaks. Well, I'm fucked. A day with Parker. Rise at four. Sharp 405. Coffee paper ideation 415. Ideation 425. End of the watch at five. Rise again, re-energize, six hours later. Hot shower, 11.05. Pranayama, focus on the breath, 11.15. 11.30, Zazen, ruminating upon cones, mostly regarding being beaten with a stick. 11.45, TM, focus on the intake and release of energy. 12, accumulator, cleaning and upkeep. Uh, 13, center my internal fo focus, locus. Focus of control, banish external negative energy. Yeah, exactly, everybody. 
30 15 lunch 30 45 post lunch walk 14 more ideation 18 accumulator observation mediation 19 automatic drawing exploratory stream of consciousness writing 20 nightcap old-fashioned some grass perhaps 2200 preparation for liminal dreaming placing of bedstand journal for later transcription during the watch adaptation of dally's famous the slumber with a key technique on which it's iterated involving repeated periods of wakefulness a gentle flirtation with the beginning stages of rem there was once a natural medieval habit of second sleep and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch between the first sleep and second this is used the most productive time of the day in which a family accomplished most of their tasks i adopted this practice for myself and find similar uh, generative results what the fuck dude What's this blueprint? Ah, oh, fuck. Proc, I've tempered my doubts about the accumulator up to this point, but a lightning rod? Really? This isn't some old movie serial. Even if electricity did work that way, what do you plan to use it for? Soon I'll be just as the modern Prometheus. Jesus. Look into elevator. Well, I can't go in there, apparently. That sucks. This also sucks. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's Gary. He's dead. There's blood soaking through his clothes. This can't be happening. Uh, it's happening. Oh, the bathroom. Fuck. I can hear him up there. Oh, fuck! I was wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn! Bye, Gary. Bye, everybody. What the fuck? Thanks, Meg. Every time I die, we get more and more information. Oh, I was being followed. Play him out, keyboard cat. I recognize you. Huh? You're the one with this sense of being better than the things you're better than. I understand where you're, where you're coming from. I've been there. I am there. Who the hell are you? Can I help you? I'm trying very hard to leave there. If you're anything like me, you're probably expecting a reward, but winning only gets you in deeper. Are you trying to find a way to keep your elbows clean? I'm there with you. I see your left arm raised. I'm curious about the state of your right eye. What the fuck? Please make me uncomfortable. I'm just trying to guess at my car, dude. I'm gonna get going now. Who do you show your ticket to? Are you able to? Are you going to the train station? The rubble aside, the train station. Are you going beneath the train station? Have a good night. The fuck. That guy is fucking weird. Now we're gonna be back at the house, right at the front door. Yep. I'm gonna go upstairs first and do a bit more looking around. I got to the bathroom, but I never got to do anything with it. 
interact. The output pressure on this pump should be set to 12 PSI at all times. Do not touch. Uh... Oh, I don't want to use that at all. So that's just one. This is also one. And that's every five. Oh my word. How the hell are we going to make this work? What else is going on in here? The bathtub. Examine mess. Classy. So... I can lift this thing up to like maximize or whatever. This pump should be set 12 PSI at all times. Do not touch. And what is this? What is this supposed to be a measurement of? It's going to do eight things. So I'll just max out and do this. All right, it's eight moves. So it stops at eight, and that's not enough. Okay. So let's see. So gotta be twelve. So we wanna be at seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, two. Boom. Oops. Expect crawl space. Illich brand static pressure pumps operations basics. One, yeah, one to five. Yeah, I already figured that part out. Every Illich brand static pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one per unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders reinforce the bulkier housing increase PSI output by five per unit of fluid. Input fluid amount is displayed on the left. Output PSI value is displayed on the right. Really? That's all that's in here was the answer to the thing that I just beat? I interact with this? No? That's unfortunate. All right, well, we did all I can do in the bathroom. Hey, it's something, we made progress, right? Oops. Yep, there's this thing here. Inspect the wire. The wire comes up out of the floor and leads along the hallway. Is this the wire that comes out of the power box in the living room? Yeah, we assume so. There's something here. What is this? Ah, I see. I'm going to get it eventually. Soma! 
Yesterday, I accidentally swallowed some food coloring. The doctor says I'm okay, but I feel like I've died a little inside. Yeah, me too after hearing that. Oh my god. Thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate you, Soma. Our fucking power just went out. I got it. I don't know what it did, but I got it. Can we save how I did that, please? Very nice, yeah. Great. Fuck. Soma. Alright, we're not gonna play Minesweeper this whole time. Yes, this is... It's an elevator right here, and it's just... It's down below right now. We don't have much time. Get out of my way. We have about an hour left. Before he comes out. It got to me too. Playing Minesweeper right now. Nice. Alright, this is where. Can I please hit. Oh my god. We have to get the page 110. Oh, I can hold it. Okay. So this is where the missing page from the study drawer came from. Now, what do these color bars mean? Oh, yes, it saved it. Blue, pink, pink, yellow. Interesting. There's a 12 involved with that, too. Hmm. Is there anything else in my uh, suitcase? It's, it's empty? There's no way I totally forgot to pack. What the hell? That's, that's not right. Is the basement door open now? Oh yeah, cause the power went out, that's right. Fuck it, we're going. Okay, the play button plays a noise. That uh, that tracks. Look into tunnel. The tunnel near the floor that, when I look into the darkness, seems to stretch into infinity. Just again, it makes me want to hyperventilate. I don't much want to know what's under this end, but metal bars stop me from finding out. Oh. Examine plans. Bunch of sheeting. This dude's doing some serious work. Weather stripping, window framing, window panel, copper wiring, kitchen chair should suffice. Please arrange delivery directly to the house. Thank you. This guy's up to some fucking shit down here. I'll tell you that. What? Interesting note, but it's Minesweeper. That work? It just saved something when I did that. I don't like the audio in that direction. It really skeeved me out. Oh, more PSI. Does this also have to be 12?
Ah. Not ready to solve this yet? Okay. Good to know. There's so many moving parts here. The orange, the orange killer from the first floor sneaks down from the ceiling and disappears into a hole partway up the wall. Great. It's the blue cube I saw on the first floor. It leads from the ceiling down through a hole in the wall. At least he's uh, consistent. But there was something there. Check keypad. I'm not putting any buttons into that. That's interesting. What's this? Read plaque. Of hollow tubes, animal spirits, Clara Jones, hydraulic cylinders, oil, human blood, 1979. The body is a machine, the body is a house. The same blood, the same thoughts, recycled, gushing, cellar to attic, atrium to ventricle. There's beauty to the well-oiled symphony of it, the furnace of the heart, the electric grid of nerve endings, lungs stuffed with asbestos, the organ swung proudly against the floorboards, the crawl space is littered with the corpses of animals and the bodies of men. The lights are on, there's nobody home. But a body gets sick, wood rots, machines rust, houses melt into something worse. Nature abhors a vacuum and will punish you for creating one. You will suffer the relentless function of your own decay, a body made to live, a machine built to die. What the fuck is going on? I'm trying to check iron door here. Ah, oh, fuck, another goddamn... Ugh. I still don't know what that thing does. Alright, nothing this way. Or nothing left that way, I should say. Oops. Already looked at that. So... What is this thing? Gonna, can I do anything else with this? I guess not. It's just gonna play a noise, it's gonna get me called. Fuck! I like his tiptoeing. Run. Run. Fuck. Is there a hiding spot in here? There isn't. I'm a dummy. Right in here. Hide, hide, hide. Jesus. Man, this is this game's wild. So this guy keeps coming out and kills us all, and then we learn more about the story. And we get to kind of uncover more as we go. This book clue is really interesting. I don't know what this means. Blue, pink, pink, yellow. That's to my suitcase. That's how to get in, which was already done with. Front door lock would be good. The one panel? Oh, one, right. A locker. We have a pump guide. That's one from the bathroom that we handled. There's a 12 here on the, on the desk. Not a whole hell of a lot yet, but...
of course. Will you find my phone? Text my the guppies. Nape. I don't want them to die, but because me. Yikes. That same thing here, that same note. What was that noise for? Oh, he went back downstairs. There's not much else I could do downstairs. And upstairs is pretty much cleaned out, too. I gotta figure out how to move forward here. Where the hell? Page 110 gave me that, but it's also connected to the desk note somehow. I think I need to win Minesweeper. Damn this heat, I can feel it pulsing off the sand, pushing me upwards. I swear I could fly. Like I could just lift my wings and... Everyone's having a strange time right now. I'm not looking out the fucking window, fuck that. This is a dead dumbass again. It's Gary, he's dead. He's definitely heading this way. We will hide. I think it's the guy who was like 30 something hours later, he died first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. He either got there before everybody else and he's dead. Or it is him. Oh, that's you, Tree. I'm like, what the fuck? Was the longest I've lasted into the night. Okay. So this one is either here or here. This has to be either here or here, or both. <laughs> what the fuck? Thanks, Wolfmans. That's what she said, oh boy. Okay, so this is definitely one. This is definitely one. So, again, it's 50-50 shot here. No, it's not, because we know this is touching. It has to be here, so this is safe. I win. I don't know what this means, but I won. Do I try to win again? No? Oh. Alright. And then was there some type of mechanism in here I could fuck with? Oh, yes. Oh. 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 Don't turn around. You won't like what you see. I don't fucking like that. Fuck you, Soma. <laughs> This is blue, pink, pink, yellow. That's not even the same thing. Oh, wait, no. I know what this is. That wasn't right? Is it mirrored?
There's nothing around there that gives me any types of hints. Fuck. I don't know what to do with this thing. Maybe I did it right the first time. It just always makes noise. Shit. So what else am I missing here? Oh yeah, this thing I did right the last time. I have no idea what the fuck it does. Ada Ada? Oh my god. Okay, I'm out of here. Front door isn't open. A deadbolt holds the door in place in its upper left corner. Oh, so you're able to make that work, but I can't. Fuck, fuck. Oh, never mind. I thought I was fucked. Hominus, ada, ada. So I have to unlock this. You know something? With regards to what? Something I can do? I really thought this was going to be it. All right, so this is, I have to use this for Minesweeper. Um, oh, I don't understand the numbers though. That would be the weird part. Here we go, ends all the way across to three. Three, four, three. Yeah, I don't know. Let's keep it clean. I'm trying to keep it clean. Like this is 12 a.m. Wait, how is that possible? It has a minesweeper note here. And this almost looks like a hang, like a the gallows, like a hangman. But that's also on the box upstairs. Oh fuck! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I like slowed down right there. Oh, so did he. Fuck! 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 I think I used all my hiding spots already. I'm fucked. Leave me alone, you slug. I'm stuck. Hide, hide. I'm clicking hide. Why can't I hide? Why can't I hide? I couldn't hide. God damn it. Well, we're gonna get more out of the story, either way. Thanks, Satan. Hey, it's Pete. Hey, Emily. Pete? I know that look on your face. You've been trying yourself in knots, running this knife through your head over and over again, trying to think of a way out. I'll wait for Keyboard Cat now. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Liz? You see the house with its door locked and power out? Some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my throat slit. 
So he is dead. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Not much. How about you? I'm just chilling, having a good time, streaming this fun game. Am I right about that last part? I'm afraid that you're dead. I don't know. Maybe you've got something to do with this. No, you just flaked on us. I'm going to say the middle one. I don't know. Maybe you've got something to do with this. Because I didn't see him outside. I didn't see his body out there. Who's to say? Good thing the cellar opens on its own, huh? I know you're technically not supposed to go down there, but you're technically not supposed to get murdered either. I've been down there already. <laughs> Having fun getting drunk? Nice. The note in the main bedroom made it seem like the combination is down in the cellar somewhere. In some kind of cage. Oh yeah, that's right. And I know where that cage is. I've been there. Could that be the cage with the color bar lock on its door? Oh, fuck. I didn't realize it had colors on it. Well, I know where to go. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon. Okay. The problem is now I have to wait because the fucking door's locked. See? See, what other numbers do I have here, if anything? I mean, that's also interesting as well. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to This is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I haven't come across that yet. Uh, the locker. This is an interesting thing here, though. Oh. <gasps> Oh, this is for the elevator, I think. Look at that. Like, if you look at left to right, this one's up, this one's all the way down, this one's in the middle. That might be it. Um, combination's not helpful, it's not helpful, not helpful. Like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> it's like, nah, you won, it's all good, okay. That's just the pump guide. We know where to go with that now. Number 12 is what I'm going to do too. Are you getting drunk with? Yeah, do tell. Oh, you saw Knox do it? Oh, okay. Let's talk to them again. Emily, Crashes and Pumberton. Oh, haha, ha, thanks. It's pretty funny to do it still, you know. It's not much, but it's cool. How did it feel when you finally got to hold the thing you made in your hands? Really bizarre. Cool, definitely. Kind of mortifying to see a crappy art in thousands of days. Gosh, please, like that. Ooh, excuse me. Like, oh crap. Some poor schmuck is going to pay money for this? Eh. This poor schmuck is happy with his purchase. Your work looks really nice. The, I cannot pronounce that word. Gouache? This stuff is incredible. Ha, ah, um, thank you, again. Emily, you're allowed to accept a compliment. Sounds fake and like a scam. Okay, Cliff. There was something messed up just now. There's a lock on the front door, do you know why? Uh, cause every house does that? I already had this conversation with him. I can't even talk to him. These power to unlock. Kill survive slash exchange survive, or is that just me? A little more stare than Texas Chainsaw, but no, it's, it's not just you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Laser. We'll be here. Too nice, you know? There's no way this house doesn't have a dumbwaiter. 
Or at least a lazy Susan. It's got a fucking elevator, dude. Do I actually think it's one of the girls now, or it's like she crashed or something and it's all a dream or something? It's... That kind of covers lots of bases. <laughs> now we just need our wacky friend who never takes anything seriously to do a fake out mass killer prank, you know, as a misdirect. Oh, that's funny you say that. Wouldn't that be you? Would that be me? Did I have been Pete? Shit, maybe you're right. That means you could be here dressed like a scary clown at absolutely any moment. Why out of this place? Why don't you go talk to the other kids? Yeah, okay. Try talking to Megan. No phone signal. Last car will be set for sure. <sighs> oh, God. Out here, cut from society. Never go wrong covering them all. <laughs> or basically all. Yeah. Liver cheat cut us off from society. Does this place even have a landline? Chris, I wish I could call someone, anyone. Yeah, like they didn't even bother coming up with a specific excuse. Even though it's irrational, not being able to make a call does make me nervous. I mean, it's more that I don't know what to do without it. I'd feel naked without the weight of it in my pocket. I put my down yesterday and I keep thinking I lost it. Like, do you ever get phantom vibrations, a low level buzz that your brain interprets as an incoming text message or whatever? Yeah, like I'm so triggered by phone contact that my nervous system invents them out of whole cloth. It's embarrassing. It's normal though. I'm right there with you. Yeah, we've already asked you these things. Hmm. It didn't let me say that line about Pete. That's interesting. Uh, strange about silverware. Think about everything. There was a huge binary of instruction on how to lock doors and organize closets. So he's fastidious? Bordering on obsessive. No offense. None taken. This place was just his whole world for too long. He knew it inside and out where everything was supposed to be. Oh, and also we just found out Mr. Nest, he was really specific that he didn't want any knives in the house. Doesn't want to defend ourselves for like insurance re reasons. Is that a normal Airbnb policy? Sunset rum, interesting. Most likely. How'd you guys even hear from me? Isn't here? Isn't there like no signal out here? Oh yeah, last time we had signal was out in this little mountain town not far from here. It's up to the way in. To eat into sponge for final few drops of cell reception. Why do I keep yawning? Any good food in town? Not really. Is it Denny's? Blisters Burgers? The old timey. Oh yeah. McDonald's from time in the 80s, but they dress up like it's an American graffiti or something. Maybe the place back in town with a giant hot dog outside. I loved that hot dog. Me too. No word from Pete, though. Wait, why are we talking about this? Emily, are you really that anxious about this weekend? I don't think it's that unusual given the circumstances. I think there's no benefit to acting on that feeling of unsafety, Emily. I'm sorry, I don't know how to make it stop. You don't have to apologize, Emily. We're here for now. Emily, you should go do what you're gonna do. Okay. I was trying to kill time, but it pauses when you have conversations.
Hi Francine. Hi Emily, I've been waiting, wanting to say to you this morning, I heard Cliff talking with Gary about how much he misses you. Now he's frustrated that he hasn't heard from you in a while. Listen, those weren't the words Cliff used. No, they weren't. He was really splitting venom, splitting venom. It's all of us. Gary talked him down though. Jesus. I thought it was interesting to hear Gary speaking on your behalf, working to be sure Cliff would be excited to see you. What was that down on me? I'm glad, glad Gary did that. It's sweet of you to notice that, Francine. Of course, Emily. I care about you. And clearly Cliff does too. I think Gary just needed to remind him of that. It was very prescient of him to do that before you even got here. Gary said Cliff has been talking about this for a while because that's how he knew. I guess Cliff's just that predictable. Somehow Gary remembered to be talking to him about Cliff. I'm feeling a deja vu. Like, I feel like we've been here in this room before. Oh yeah, we did this, uh, this line before. Francine, it's been a while. It has. So, how was the drive? What? Did you take the 80 or... What are you, Cliff? You know I had the same drive as you. I did a good 30 hours ago, but we were coming from the same place. Right, uh, of course. How have you been? You okay, I think. I'm doing a bit better with everything. Are you making any new friends? Are you still doing freelance? Do you ever talk to these knuckleheads these days? These jokers? Our friends? I do like to keep in touch with the other kids, yes. We have regular video chats. Ooh, that makes us look bad. You should join sometime. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe new people in the city has tripped between so far. I'll talk to you again soon. I mean, sure, I've been working my way into a few circles of friends. It's been slow, but I'm being proactive. be nice time is really an object aside from freelance i've really got nothing but time I'm working on the social stuff but most of the people i talk to on a daily basis are just kind of terrible jesus you tell people can come around eventually things have been hard for you too i get what you mean people really stress me out sometimes that's why i stick to people i know but the pool of people you know thins out over time before I left home, the only people I knew were Cliff, Gary, Megan, and Pete. Same. I mean, exact same. Them and Laura, I guess. Ah, uh, how's Laura been? She's been your roommate now for what, almost two years? Laura? She's doing... Great. She's been out of the apartment more than usual for work stuff, but she's been good. That sounds like a fucking lie. Well, all that we've been living together for almost two years now, I'm really grateful for her. Oh, good. Is she still working in... Data entry? Data analysis, yeah. Super supportive. Without her, I would have fallen apart by now. I wonder if I'll ever get to see her again. She's super supportive. How oh, nice. I always regretted not getting to know her better. Yeah, she seemed to like you too. The time that you met. We went out to breakfast last week. That sounds nice. Saw so, a comment. A meteor, not a comment. But yes, it was amazing. Humbling, kinda. Yeah, it makes you feel kinda small. Oops. It feels like to be back in touch with everybody. It feels kinda like a dream. Glad to see you in one piece. I mean, I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Speaking of stability... You're referring to the last time we went out to watch the Perseids? It's been on my mind, yeah. Emily, I wasn't paralyzed. I didn't go missing. I fell and hit my head. That's fucked. Sure, we spent a portion night in the ER, but that was its own kind of togetherness, wasn't it? Right. 
I have complicated feelings about the night for sure. Emily, you should go talk to some of the other kids. He says, okay, fine. Okay. So we have to kill a bunch of time. Oh, look. This fucking machine reset itself, so we're gonna try to just fucking beat it. Some of the strongest rum you can get. Oof. Oof. Uh. Fuck. But I got it. I think I just did this randomly before and it worked. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck it does. But, uh, I did it. Now the question is, can I win Minesweeper again? But... We have been smashed seemingly deliberately. How could this have happened? Fuck. That's it, remember, it's 169 proof? Jesus. Still a 12. Life for electronic look. Oh yeah, that's right. The electronic lock. Never mind. Read that. I'm not gonna look into the hole. Been there, done that. Got the T-shirt. All right, let's see if we can find our boy out there at all. I ain't seen shit from this side. God damn it, I need to get to the fucking basement. Hurry up. Yo, what up, Gear Bear? We're gonna lose power shortly. It's 9.09. You have to stay here talking to me just to be polite. Well, all right, bye. Francine, what are you doing down here now? Never mind. I'm staying here to see what they do. Again, I don't know if he's taking the elevator up or if he's coming from downstairs. Francine, you really should stay over here. Okay. <laughs> should I just go for it? 
We're going to be using this, the blue, pink, pink, yellow. Yeah, fuck it. Laser. Back. <laughs> Welcome back. Holy shit. Thank you for the subscription. Up to eight months. Blue, pink, pink, yellow. Got it. Let's go. I got a pamphlet. Raid on. Raid on the silent killer. It's out no longer. Orderless, colorless, deadly. Raid on may even have infiltrated your home already. The most dangerous thing you can't see, hear, taste, or smell. Did you know thousands die from raid exposure every year? Raid on comes from the natural breakdown of uranium found in the soil your home is built on and the water you drink. Rarion's number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. Rarion attaches up to dust particles in the air. The amount of radiation in four PCI per liter of rarion is equal to 100 chest x-rays. Damn. Sim symptoms of rarion poisoning will not appear until you have lung cancer or are about to. See so Dr. immediately. Radon, radios and radones. Do quit smoking. Don't wait. Radon may already be inside your home. Do test your home for radon. Don't let annual home maintenance slip. Do repair foundation damages and fill to your drinking water. Don't ignore deadly signs like wheezing, shortness of breath, or coughing up blood. Make sure your family is safe from the dangers of radon with Tunston brand radon test kits. Why does he have radon test kits? In which the delivery of two industrial grade gallon gallon generators to the house attaches a handwritten note. Parker, I thought your accumulator was an acoustic device. What are we suddenly looking to generate more power than we could use in a year? Clara. Examine a schematic. On the wall, some kind of electronics diagram and attaches a small note with a three digit number 278. This must be the combination to get into the cellar. Now I'll be able to get down here before the power goes out. Yo, that's boss right there. So that's all helpful. But like, need more. I still don't get that with this, this machine here. Like we use it for something. I mean, it kind of looks like Minesweeper, does it not? If there was like more to choose from. Speaking of smoking, I guess I failed in quitting vaping. Ah, damn. Well, A for effort. You can always try again. The fuck? There was a... Uh... There was something over here. Or is it over here? Oh, it's here. Like around the corner. Yeah, it was right there. Never mind. Like I'm missing something. I'm not ready to solve this yet. Okay, so it, it told me that again. 
Oh wait, isn't the steam bad? They made a good point about the steam. And then this fucking machine. Four by four. The other thing was six by six. Fry, welcome in. I'm gonna try again when this tank runs out. Good for you, man. Best of luck to you. So... This is obviously supposed to be like a more advanced minesweeper level. But I don't know where to play because the fucking computer got destroyed. This is a 4x4. Four four. We don't have any 4x4s, four do we? With this. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Oh, we can go upstairs and try the, uh, the elevator. We've got the, uh, what do you call it there? The tog the little toggles. Fuck, he's already heading up there. Shit, here he comes. cool if he just went into the fucking basement. Fuck that. Oh, he's angry. Be quiet. Dude's taking his sweet time. Why is the hiding thing so awkward? I don't know. Like just to get in, get in there is kind of awkward. I found the bodies, that's right. It's Megan, she's dead. <laughs> oh, this? That's just Megan. She's fucking deceased. It's Francine, she's dead. Oh wait, that 12. Page 110 from the book. Oh, okay. So that's how we got to that point. <laughs> that you are, Meg. Yep, there's the 12. Now over here, we have this written down. Where's the locker? Where's the fucking locker? I know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Overlord Salamander, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the mob. Happy to have you. Thank you, Meg, for the bits. Jerk. 
Dust note gave us the page, which gave us that, which gave us this, which gave us that. Oh, locker. Here it is. Top, bottom, middle. Top, bottom, middle. They're all purple. I don't know what that just did. Thank you for the hydrate, Overlord. If I may ask, how did you find us here today? Make sure you stretch out those cream hamstrings. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be stretching out them creamy hamstrings. So I didn't open anything there. And I don't think I did anything over here. I already read that. The schedule. So I have to say I'm a wee bit confused at the moment. Minesweeper I still haven't figured out. I don't know how to do that. I'm glad that we got that one figured out. We have to go back to the hip or hit that play button down in the basement. I bet you that's what I have to do now that it's set properly. I have a glass of water. I'm really thirsty. My tummy hurts. I think I'm going to take a nap. I'll feel better when I wake up. Yeah, do that. All I can think of is cream corn now <laughs> maybe you have to press the play button in the attic since that's where the purple lines are i don't know though i did hit the play button upstairs um i think i have to go and press it downstairs now i meant basement not attic oh, okay i sure ready to find out how i found you i mean yeah i like to know even if it's like oh it's a he's this person that person this person that person bubble like i love hearing how However it was, my overlord salamander, I wish to know. Oh, it opened. An old printout reads stay with black diamonds in between letters. Why would anyone go through the trouble of locking this away? I don't fucking know. There's legit nothing else there. So this is another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. here for a second trying to through his sex tape didn't you ha i was shopping at spencer's for a gag gift and cashier recommended you no shit well that's interesting i don't i don't think i know anybody that works for spencer's at least not directly but that's really cool just having conversations at checkout, and they're like, bro, you gotta go check out this streamer? Oh, look, you're famous and shit. I guess so. Yeah, it's fucking wild. I wonder if they, uh, maybe he knows me through Channel 13. Maybe CEOs of Screams, which, by the way, Channel 13's on YouTube. CEOs of Screams is the Twitch team. Come check us out sometime. You won't be, uh, you won't be mad about it, I promise. Where did Stay go to? It's not gonna go here, wait. So you know, the power box has a drawing of a little sea urchin. Or maybe one of those old nautical mines or something. Yeah. And I, and I, and I have, I have that. <laughs> He's a real juggernaut. <laughs> Won't be disappointed here. Thanks. Thank you, Meg. I appreciate that. Maybe I only... 
But it's still, this is four by four. And this thing is, oh, wait, why am I? Oh, cause I tried setting this up. Meg, make sure you pick on them though, thanks. I guess the ones and twos I'm confused by. Like, should I only be clicking on where the mines are? Yep. But. You're gonna save some of that meat for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fuck! I'm making good progress too. Marcus made me hungry, so I ordered some apple butter chicken wings and a Floridian Druid, aka a large meat lover's pizza, except instead of ham, it's meatballs. Ooh. Blah. Get in there. We hiding. They run funny. They do. And that sounds like a really good pizza. Alright, so the power's on. So I assume I have to get upstairs. Um and hit that door at the very end. Because now that light will be on. Could you fuck oh fuck? Never mind. Ah, uh, power did see it. Yeah, he act Oh. He actually came in. Uh Diana went and grabbed him last night. He came in and just redeemed it. Hope getting out of here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Uh it was really funny. Sound is very tap dancey. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Emily Frill, the drive was fine. It would be like nothing for miles except trees. And then once every hour we'd see cows or something. At one point we stopped at one of those roadside boiled peanut stands. We saw the guy ladle some of the hot nut water into his mouth so we left without getting any. Hot nut water. It sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny. I should tell a trusted adult right away. I want pizza, but it's too hot here to eat. Fuck that. I eat. It's never too hot for pizza. How dare. How dare. Did a joke just go over my head? I feel like this is one of those Emily Francinisms, and none of us speak that language. Well, you guys didn't know the story? So, like. You guys remember when the local arts council held that mini con in the spring? A hundred every day. You need to have a hundred slices of pizza. I got a booth that was crunching like crazy to churn out little paintings and zines, while also doing homework poorly. Because I'm a good friend, I offered to help set things up to make her life easier. That and I want an excuse to hang out and people watch. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed and very glossy nice auto bio zines. Get him, get back to the con, just in time for the show to get going. I was excited to see how the books came up because I was nervous about full bleeds and whatnot, and when I opened the box, it's not my zines. It was instead fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets, like the kinds you get in Dare or the ones assholes leave instead of tips. Oh my god. Some of my freezer pizza popsicles? What the fuck? I'm panicking because the print job was expensive and I was hoping to make my money back. And now I have a box of the shit people try to hand out at the grocery store, and the booth next to us saw the whole thing and wanted to read them. And I was sitting there feeling like the biggest idiot on planet after ruining my friend's show. Then Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says one dollar, and those things start selling like hotcakes. Turns out dis disaffected stoners really love Dare. <laughs> Ephemera. <laughs> Ever since, little snippets of those pamphlets will just randomly pop into my head. Trigonate cool, don't be a fool. 
Radon might be right behind you. Don't get fried. Stay inside. Yeah, those pamphlets make obscure safety concerns. Feel like they're living entities coming to kill you. Oh. I remember feeling like I had to lock my doors to keep out Legionnaire's disease. Francine made the best mistake possible. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees to let me have some of the burned up donuts that got stuck in the production line and having an inexplicable panic attack in the parking lot. <laughs> my god. No one needs to see that. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. So you really took those old brochures, literally, huh? What do you mean? Radon might be right behind you? It sounds like something you would say. You're always warning me about obscure shit I've never even heard of. You know what? I just realized I need to go find my binoculars. I'll be right back. Oh, Pete's just fucking hanging over there. Best of they don't just they don't just let you have the donuts. I mean, they're just gonna go in the trash anyway. It's not wrong. Big regret live 2021. It looks like it says. Maybe it's 2001. 2001. M, do you know okay in here? Yeah, I just needed a second. You said that. Yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I'd bring these binoculars along for the trip, so I've been looking for them. I don't think they're here, so now I'm curled up in a ball trying to hyperventilate. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen I haven't seen you this on in a while. Okay, that makes more sense now I have the whole sentence. I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do. I think I can only do that because Francine's wingmanning me. <laughs> Always helps have a wingman. It's embarrassing. When we meet when we met, I was all Captain Cool helping Francine keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. Do they like me or do they just like whoever that was? Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. One meal, take four or five slices of pizza, scrape everything off the crust into a bowl, warm up some chicken patties, add the toppings, and use the crust like bread slices to make a weird chicken parm. Damn. Speaking my language, that's usually how I start feeling about stuff when I've been you know, ripping a couple joints. <laughs> Look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis for so long. You're fine. You're safe. They missed you. Totally do that. Fuck yeah, Twy. Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find the binoculars. Come on, I'm making tea. It's 2004. And yeah, there it is. This must be their apartment instead. What, did you need a pair of binoculars to find that pair of binoculars? Get your feet off my table. Jesus, what are you, my mom? I just don't want you ruining my table. I eat on that. Yeah, Cliff. Genius level shit. So we need to talk about that binocular joke. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> that is good. Turn it on. What are you doing? Em, it's okay. Laura, turn it off. I know. You're really worried about this, huh? Like you're worried about me ruining your table. Cliff, cool it. I'm just messing around. You guys, you guys' apartment is so cute. This seems like a really nice area. I'm trying to get hungry, so thank you. Jesus, yeah. Will we even be able to see the shower out here with all the light pollution? Come on, it's not that bad if you go like a mile out of town. Hello? Hi, tree. <laughs> anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition for the pear seeds. Perseids. Hell, maybe binoculars would be cool. Getting lost looking for a Theseus Major in Gonad's district and all the other stuff the magic school bus tried to teach me about. Ah, hell. I'm going to text my neighbor and see if she'll feed my guppies. You didn't take care of that before you left? I'm taking care of it now. 
hot nut water guy got me thinking. It's weird that the hot nut water would probably be pretty good. <laughs> Another fun thing is we're making meatball subs. Don't use red sauce. Worm some Alfredo cheese sauce. Lightly cover it. Trust me, it's so good. Huh. Interesting take. Super umami, yeah. Obviously, but hot nut water guy also got me thinking. I feel like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept that things in a new place are going to be uncertain and weird instead of trying to control every last detail. It's true. Just go with the flow. Like that time we were out in the mountains and decided to follow signs for a family fun center. And ended up in a burned down old ghost town with no sign of escape. Totally. Creaking of a distant rocking chair. Unreadable old billboards, bleached white by the sun. Tetanus on every surface. I love that percolating sense of unknow uh, unknowable danger. Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. <laughs> what are we going to get for dinner? I can go for some za. I think we can do better than za. Emily, you live here. Where should we get food? Well, I need to get water first. Whew. Back. It's one in the morning, but I'm gonna crack one anyways. Fuck it. Cheers to you all. Oh my god, I just opened up the fridge. All I can smell is that fucking chicken broccoli ziti. Wow. <laughs> no spin. We did two already today. Oh, ads. God damn it, I hate ads. Chicken Brothers ZD is good, yo. Oh yeah, it's always a good always a good bet, you know? So I'm hungry now. Oh, has anyone ever tried frozen chicken fried steak? Is it good? I can't say I've ever had it frozen before. It may not be bad. <clears throat> Only two? Fuck you. It was everyday hero hot sauce. And then um the uh is the Reaper beef jerky. By the way, Tree. And anyone else that hadn't caught on to this yet or noticed me oh, not here before I mentioned it it's all right for fighting Saturday uh we got crack balls they are like little cheese balls with Carolina Reaper sprinkled right in thanks be to Satan <laughs> yeah thanks again for uh adding something great to the list i'm really really happy about it yeah and i took beer out just for that <laughs> oh my god i hope it's gonna work whenever i heat it up hell yeah i saw them at the origins game fair and i was morally compelled to get them for you <laughs> You love it. Oh, thanks, Laser. <laughs> Thank you, Twy. I think we can do better than Za. Emily, you live here. Where should we get food? There's a really great Thai place down the street. There's a dinky little diner with one of those rotating pie cases. And right around the corner, there's a super authentic Italian deli. Oh, you know, I go for Thai. Sure, let's just get a pizza. What the fuck? I, every time I try to say something and it's like, no, you see that ah, in the background. In that case, we better get going if we're going to get to Domino's before they close. Not possible. Where I live, stuff usually closes by 8, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock on weekends. Being Friday and Saturday night. So, like, the only thing that's open past that is Domino's. I think they're open till 11. Maybe midnight. I don't actually recall because I don't order from there often. But like, you get to a point where you're like, fuck, I can't order anything because it's Sunday and everything closed at like 8 or 9. You're like, fuck, I'm really hungry. And it's just like, well, you can get Domino's and they're always open. The pizza place closes at like 6? Oh my god. That is horrendous. You don't think we have a Domino's anywhere near you? Wow, okay. Oh, I get it. She's so awkward and afraid to voice her actual opinion and stuff. Ah, uh, 
you know, I think you're right. That's a good point. Dollars isn't close till 2 a.m. and another shop for stars to close at like 5 a.m. Well, you live in uh, a, like a suburb or a small city, so that's not too surprising, at least from how I know how the state works. So this is the highest class of the low class pizzas. I can live with that statement. I like Domino's. Yeah, it's it's not bad, but I feel like there's a lot better choices I can get in the area. But if we're outside the hours of business, I know Domino's can give me food. Where no one else will. <laughs> Crude, okay. No, oh, crud, okay. Let me just do the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Love Domino's, but no one in my family does it, so I never get it. Oh, no one could beat their cheesy bread. It's actually not bad. Emily, seriously, are you still worried about your knobs? It's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming into the airport down the road. The city shut off our gas, nobody was around to turn the pilot light back on. No pilots for the pilot light? They had one job. <laughs> I'm taking heat for the binocular joke, and you can get away with that one? Right? Anyway, with the pilot light off, the room just slowly swelled with gas. By the time the landlord finally came by to shut off the valve, the apartment was so filled with gas that the windows had bowed out from the pressure. Holy fuck. Sure, but that has to be rare. Rare, but it happens. And gas is invisible, so... I worry about that, too. The thing that bothers me is, like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs getting, like, all burned up from the inside. That is fucking awful. <laughs> What if the gas need oxygen to ignite? What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I think we should stop talking about this. Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magic murder monster coming to kill you. You turn the knob and it's off, that's it. Pete, help me out here. I was gonna say, is Pete gonna say fucking anything? I also can't stand when there's nothing open on holidays. Like, what about those who don't have any family to hang out with? Or if you can't associate with them due to circumstances out of one's control, preach. Fucking preach. Completely, completely on board with that. But it sucks because not everybody because not everybody wants to work those holidays, but I don't know. It's a weird mix, that's for sure. What up, Bob? Dot dot dot. Pete? Exactly, thank you. That's just what I'm talking about. Well, if he didn't say a fucking word. Look, let me put this to rest for you, Emily. See? Do we all die in a blazing inferno? No. So you can relax now. Holy fuck. That is so mean. Honestly, I take volunteers for working holidays. Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I'm gonna go fucking vomit. Or close. And that's super fucking mean. All right, we've started over again. The good news is... Fuck, where is it? Right here, 278. Check this shit out. Two, seven, eight. Yeah! God damn, I'm good. And this one was, uh, Minesweeper, top middle in the last one. Turn that on. We run the fuck back upstairs. Doesn't have power. Oh, we have to go to the other box first. Which is in here. Aha! What in the fuck do we have here? Plus, minus, no. Plus, plus, yes. Minus, minus, yes.
All right, there we go. That's a start, I think. No, not good enough. Plus minus doesn't want to work though. Eight o'clock. So let's see. Plus minus. Na oh, negative's negative up here. Okay, so they kind of mapped this all out. I see your memories? Sure. For example, one year I couldn't go to Thanksgiving because I had to pick up my sister from work at 2 a.m. and no one was open after 10 p.m. Try to get gas station hamburgers and trust me, you don't want to ever be in a position where you eat those. Uh, bro, I've eaten plenty of gas station food, but I feel you. <laughs> they game like this on my phone once. Ha! Ah. There, you've seen it. This goes plus to plus, so how do I do... Can I change this there? Not really. All the way straight through. Not quite. Fuck. The only being, it's not the gas that will kill you, but crossing the plus... One system on a breaker box, plus minus. Oh, yeah. So the plus to the plus, plus to the plus, minus to the minus, minus to the minus. Okay. Oh. Or just one or the other, maybe. I don't think you could do both. Nine o'clock. Fuck, we're about to lose power. Gas station hot dogs and burritos are the best. Huh. Okay. That looks like it works. <laughs> So, looks like it kind of worked, right? Ain't nothing wrong with the gas station glizzy. Someone has a red hot beef and bean burrito that I love, but I know it will kill me so I don't eat them. <laughs> Amazing. So... This is awfully confusing. And there's nothing I can do with that negative sign there. That's positive to positive right there. See, like, I can't get enough things to change. Puzzle seems difficult. Most gas station foods find sometimes, even great, in fact, at any other station, it wouldn't be a problem, but this one had a name couldn't pronounce, and it was filthy. Oh, yikes. That's no good. 10 o'clock. This 
virtually the same fucking thing. Unless I could do this. Oh, fuck, I didn't think of that. Okay. Can't get enough things to change. Same, bro. Same. <laughs> that sounds delicious, but yeah, instant heartburn. Can't wait. I've told my therapist that at a time or two. Like, this sucks. I want this to work, but I know it probably doesn't. Same with this. Plus, these are connecting across. We don't want that. Got it. Fucking run. What? Gotta escape the house. I think it's still going though. DD style puzzle. Yeah. Just trip the trap and be done. What in the actual fuck? Agoraphobia. Hello, what? <laughs> yeah, that definitely was uh, definitely a level of agoraphobia. A lot, of, a lot of good symbolism and imagery in this game. Hello, Emily. It is Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're that old guy I met at the gas station. At least I think there was a gas station. When he was Parker Nest. Oh! Okay. Do you feel strange spending so much time in my house? In my home? Oh yeah, you're a home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. That place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Ugh, please, make sense. <laughs> Tell me. When that creature, the homo homonoculus, when it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything when you die? You learn to ignore it. What the hell kind of question is that? Uh, homonoculus, is that what that thing is? I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to you. Frankly, I do too. Find to whom this cruel world appears and you will know why it appears so cruel. In the attic, you'll find a device I've built. Something Burroughs told me about sometime before he pissed off to uh, Tangiers. Tangiers? Called ac uh, Accumulator. Supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. Homunculus. Thank you. I built it believing it would extend my uh, hal Halcyon days. Halcyon days? Of course, I was in my 50s. I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hoped it would help regain some of the feeling I once had. Sort of hate the expression, while the world doesn't revolve around you like someone would actually like that amount of responsibility to many people, worlds, worlds do need me to do something or another for things to run in smoothly. I can't stand that. Well, I mean, it's... I think that saying's mostly about, like, you're... That person that thinks that the world revolves around that means that they are the center of everything. They are, they are the spotlight. And most of the time, they're not. Naturally, it didn't. I 
said over time it, it made the house, it made you, it made that thing. The homunculus, and it made a liar out of me. Alright, so I need to make sure I punch in the code, run back downstairs, get the power turned on, go upstairs, solve that thing again, then get upstairs, then get all the way upstairs into the attic. The only comfort that brings me regarding the predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you, but it won't last forever. It's me in the spotlight, losing my religion. Good call. In fact, I suspect the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. Hot nut water? Uh, hello? The accumulator is the maker of the world in which we live. It alone can change it or unmake it. Great. Nine thirty. I'll let you know. Okay. So again, we've got to work on uh, the fuck. Oh yeah, right. Not an option. <laughs> oh my god, it kept an image of it, so I know. So let's see, how does this get to... Pl oh, so that did work. That did work. Plus went nowhere. Negative went to... No oh, right, because we only did the left side. We need to do the right side now. It'll get us upstairs. Okay, that's fair. There's the cellar box. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Or that. I guess stay was, hey, don't leave. Well, whoops. Two, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, now we have this here, yeah. okay, power is on, let's get back upstairs, oh yeah, we're right in the corner here, we need to worry about the right side here. Negative to negative. That's not gonna work. Halcyon, thank you. Let me go check the plus first here. Fuck. 
There we go. There's one. Everyone gets one. Tell him, Peter. Apparently everyone gets one. I could do that instead. There. Now this... Still work, but we're gonna go... Damn it. Which I have negative now, but the positive one died. already again shit fuck run out of time here the positive we got negative is so fucking close How does that not work? Wait, oh, that's, well, positive goes like that. Negative can go like this. It's because there's some like crossover here? Like what's going on? Got it. Hurry the fuck up. Run, 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 run. Jesus, get out of my way. The teal wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. I guess the power box living room powers this on. Yep. So is this open now or do I have to... No, I bet you have to solve this really quick. God damn it. How the fuck am I fucking this up? There we go. Still didn't do anything. Fuck. I, I, I'm not too sure what to do here. Attic door lights. Yeah, so it, it's supposed to help me solve that better, I guess, but... Or, I know, I'm only supposed to have those two on. Oh, why am I dumb? Fuck. 
Fuck. Oh shit! <sighs> Fuck. So at that point, look at Gary and say, that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to back down. I want to back down. We saved that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Nah, he never wanted to fight. Turned out he was joking. Huh. That happened at the roadhouse, huh? Yep. Huh. I haven't been to the roadhouse since we were all, since we were all there together the first time we watched the Crusades. Proceeds? <laughs> I'm feeling miserably today. That must have been, what, like three years ago? Yep. Glad you had occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grandma died very conveniently. You wouldn't have come otherwise, and I thought Pete was the flaky one. Go back here. If my grandma was still alive, I probably wouldn't be here. Anxious. I've been busy. Okay, I can't even lie. I mean, I have to, it's making me lie. So relax, we're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch some long space garbage, and it'll be great. Isn't the barge outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Why? Why are you telling me this now? We're gonna get to the bar way after everybody else. I told you there's a later start time. I wanted to make sure I didn't have to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? Last time we talked, you seemed crazy about that job. Last time we talked was like 14 months ago. Uh, my mom owed me some money, it's fine. Pff, okay. Wait, did we just pass the Riverside exit? Isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what date is, Emily? August 13th? Friday, August 13th. So what? You're superstitious now? Wait. Are you afraid to go back there? Is that why you quit? Nobody sticks around those types of jobs long. You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh-huh. What do you mind? Martin, kind of an older guy, wife and two kids. He's spotting another guy, Brian, as he's bringing a dump truck full of gravel laying a foundation. The truck hits a bundle of rebar. The scaffold collapses. Martin falls into the pit and the truck tips behind him just enough to dump all of that gravel on top of him. That sucks. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free. He's responsive, feeling okay. Miracle. Wow. It turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him, right? All that weight has pushed all the oxygen and his blood up into his brain. And below the waist, he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they pull him out of there, all that blood's going to go race into his legs. He's going to go into shock, and his brain's going to die. So this is it. They bring him and his family, explain the situation. They hug him, say goodbye. Then they winch him out, and he's gone. So, Isn't that what happened in Signs? <laughs> it was a tree in a car, but yeah. Signs? The M. Night Shyamalan movie, Signs. The guy's wife gets hit by a truck and he goes to say goodbye to her. It happened. It happened to somebody I know, Emily. Bro, I think you're on the wrong side of the road. Watch the camera angle. It's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Eyes on the road. Okay, I was right. He goes on the wrong side of the road. You don't deserve this. I've seen you die so many times. I'm not gonna let that happen to you. We're gonna get out of here. Sorry, Cliff. Damn it. Don't mention it. I'm sorry, too. Wait, where are we? How long have we been driving for? Oh, shit. Is that thing again. All right. We need to get this first. 278. Okay, 
going as fast as we can. Fucking shit. The first time tank control has really fucked with me tonight. Okay, and we have the uh, diagram for this. Plus is far right. There we go. All right. Now I have a lot more time. Also, what did uh? Oh, I just had some notifications for it, I guess. Are we going? Are we going? Right here. Fucking puzzles always make me head fucking spin. There we go. Finally. Parker, again, I was locked out of the attic today because I couldn't solve your little puzzle. Oh good, this is how I get in. I don't understand what's so difficult about it. Next time you need to get into the attic, just press the buttons in this order. I'm not saying I want a guide to your puzzle, I'm saying you should install a normal lock. Sure. I hear him like, humbling and bumbling up here. You know I'm not supposed to be here yet, it's too early. I guess not. There we go. What in the fuck is going on here? 733. Three. Oh, that's good. Now we got that going for down in the basement. A broken exposed wire touching this would be very bad. Alright, we ain't gonna touch it then. What the fuck? box with three lights and a big old mad scientist switch. It looks like it provides power to the accu accumulator. There are three gnarly cables coming into it from below. Interesting contraption.
Sounds like opening this machine made something break downstairs. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, what are we doing, Chase Damn Dog? Uh, we're not chasing any dogs. Unless you went to go chase some dogs. Cables look like they carry a lot of electricity. I guess you need to follow them to the sources of power. If you want to turn this thing on. Two of them disappear into the floor. The other goes into spiky looking machine. Is that thing a lightning rod? You know what? Flip it. I can't. Oh, you want to chase your dog? I get it. There's so much going on now with these memories and like knowing where to go. You can get back up here pretty easy. But I think we need to get down to the basement now. To go open that other thing. And that power is still on in that fucking cable there. Oh, he hasn't come out yet. I think we still have time. clock on the dot. Is it me or is the killer down there? We'll find out. It would appear not. Alright, this is the three fur right here, which is seven three three. Hell yeah, baby. What the fuck? There's all sorts of shit here. To decide to live forever. Is this it? Is it all you ever wanted? Don't worry. It's not going to hurt. It's going to take a long time. Why else could you choose to be this way? This is where you belong. We've been waiting for you. This was the only logical conclusion, and you're very smart. To be where you are right now. The five, comman the five commandments. Heaven is already inside you. There's nothing wrong with lying to yourself. You never have to feel bad ever again. There are no mirrors where you're going. Nobody's going to mess you. I'm going to miss you. Wow. Smile, you're here forever. Published by Corporal Works of Patronage and Mercy. Okay, well. You guys seem awesome. Oh, whoops. Back to the cable. We cable disappears through the wall here. We need to figure out how to get through this door. Yeah, that's another uh, another uh, puzzle type thing. Oh god, that's already fucking broken. Yeah, there's no point in even going in there. I guess just an old analog clock seems to reflect the current time. If you're wondering what happened to the other time clock, it's gone. Minnie's boy took it, said he was going to experiment with it for some kind of art project. So frustrating. 
We all have to line up single file to punch out every day just because some pompous kid wanted to make some weird combination lock. I think book read while well, try to live forever and want blackout. Fuck, he's nearby. What the fuck is this? Up zero zero X X X X X X. I don't know if he's nearby. Uh, you hear him. Mines. Oh, it's Minesweeper again. Oh, dead. Dead again. 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 Really? This is glitching out for sure. It's a game you cannot win. Game is rigged. It's got to do with something this note down here. I don't know how. It's glitching out or it doesn't want to let you play. Yeah, exactly. Of course, the can't that. Examine the plaque. Smithson Museum and Botanical Gardens. The studio space made possible things for generous endowment from Bertram and Minnie Ness, 1955. Breaking the mold. The most senior art exhibit from the Society for the Sean Meyer Trust and Associate Entities. Scent of burning plastic would typically be cause for alarm in the halls of an art gallery. But the latest example from the uh, Vintraub Center is anything but typical. If you follow that warm crayon like smell through the halls of the Lindsay H. Drill Art Gallery, you'll find yourself in a small room occupied only by a device the size and shape of a cigarette machine. Oh, you're gonna head to bed, Laser? Thank you so much for hanging with us. Appreciate you. Hope you sleep well and have a lovely Sunday. And I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Ah. Artist Clara Jones gave one of the ideas. Her trick left on a windowsill that melts in the sun. Inspired, she combined her background in engineering with her passion for machinery to craft a curious device. I wanted to capture that pure feeling of anticipatory joy you have as a child, feeding pennies into a machine that ultimately spits out a disappointing metal curve and you cherish it anyway. Oh my god, those the penny pressing machines, yeah. Jones is coy when I ask how the machine works, but it gives the piece an air of magic. She simply says the molds are made of a material that erodes in the presence of plastic. First few casts of the day are pristine, finally crafted figures with a surprising level of detail. By the end of the night, the machine belches out distorted forms that might seem more at home in a dolly painting. Joan says there are, these are her favorites and pa patrons seem to agree. The room swells. People near closing time, they all return from their commune with the machine. A new toy in hand and a sparkle in their eyes, the author included. <clears throat> I was able to interface with the machine last night and a fortuitous halal in the crowd is a piece which invites you to play. The fine details of the casing, the satisfaction of pressing its buttons, chunking of the inner workings, the total experience does make one feel like a child again, vacationing and happy. After a minute, it chirped pleasantly and presented me with a pink waxy shape. There's a certain beauty to it as if it were a hard candy sucked smooth, as if the form eroded against a millennia of desert wind. I'm not quite sure what it was supposed to be, but I'm glad it's this. A nominal admission fee for $1 covers the expenses to run the machine. The exhibit will run until September, whereupon it will be returned to you 
to the Veen Trap Center's permanent collection. Parker, I saved the last print to the last day just for you. Don't forget the combination for this door is posted on the bulletin board by the generator. I don't know how you got lost in the hedge maze last time. It's not a big hedge maze. The combination is there if you need it. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, thank God they have this structure. I would be fucking miserable right now. I don't think I can open that yet. Yeah, I'm not supposed to win that yet. There's no way. Oh, fuck off. I mean, he saw me go in there. He stabbed me through the fucking door. Good for him. Well, unfortunately, I think that's where we're going to have to... Well, we'll go through this uh, next video sequence here. On the road again. If this is America, then where are guns? Not everybody has guns, believe it or not. Plus, this that we think the person that's trying to kill us may be the guy who owned the house. So he's he, there's no knives in the house or anything, so I doubt we'd find guns. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, no guns here. What's going on in here? This is weird. I'm smacking her head up against the wall. Wait, what the fuck? So this thing is us, then. At least, metaphorically speaking. Yo, it's the giant hot dog. Okay. Maybe that bird lady fuck is Maggie? I don't know who Maggie is. Alright, so we got some stuff here. I was able to use this to get into this. Doesn't really connect anything though. I gotta figure out where the fuck this is. There has to be a person in this like Greek pantheon wall looking thing. Let alone this shit. <clears throat> we don't know what Stay is supposed to be doing. That stream already? I'm gonna go to bed, have a great rest of your stream. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get out of here, man. It is end of end of night for me too. Is that the main character? No, the main character is um not Mag. It's um not Kimmy. It's definitely not Maggie, I know that. Yeah, have a good night, Jeff. I appreciate you, man. Um, the rest of us are gonna get out of here. Right uh, now. So, 
that is our first go at home body and i think we made some pretty good progress don't don't uh let me to toot my own horn but you know and my two hours sleep hit me hard oof ggs indeed yeah yeah i'm hoping um oh uh, hope we get we, we're gonna play this on monday and be able to wrap it up so we can't be that far off for where we are there's like that door is is unlocked like can unlock that door that right at the end where we died there that was basically it bum ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum I mean I wanted to see you eat cheese balls not tonight sir I think you finish it next time. It depends on the pace you get through puzzles. Perfect. I'm just looking to see who we could raid to. Oh, God. That was a noise. Okay. I think I'm going to um, send the raid on over to uh, Kinsiel, or Kin for short, dear friend of the stream. She's playing one of my favorite games of late, The Outlast Trials. Uh, looks like she's in the orphanage right now. I don't know if she's playing with randoms or with friends. But either way, here we are. Uh... So before we kick the raid off, uh, I just want to bust out the links, right? So uh, CEOs of Screams, Twitch, uh, this is the Twitch streamer team I'm a part of. If you want to check out the team, the link is there. It'll show you who's online at the top and then everyone else right beneath that. Uh, we also have Channel 13, amazing YouTube channel, jump scare compilations up the wazoo. Get subscribed to them now. They're on a break until the 1st of October, but get it done now so you don't forget. You'll be surprised October 1st when that video drops. Yeah, thanks, Oof. Happy to have you. Uh, it's downpouring out of nowhere. Rut row. Uh, and then, of course, since we're raiding out, we got some raid messages. Uh, that top one is for subscribers. Everyone else can use the red pickaxe. And raid message um i'm also on a couple of the social media platforms uh youtube we post up vods there uh, as well we uh post some shorts usually one a day monday through friday uh same with tiktok we post one a day monday through friday uh i'm on twitter which is uh you know it's twitter for now until they call it x or some other dumb shit uh, but I make announcements there and uh, hype up some other of my friends and whatnot. And uh, last but not least is Discord. If you use Discord and you're not in a zillion Discord servers and you do want to add another Discord server to your repertoire, consider coming to hang out with the Jug Mob. It is our home away from the channel. Uh, we do a lot of organizing, a lot of organizing there, discussions. There's the game recommendations, an NSFW channel, a regular safe for work meme channel, um, and then uh, there's also places where you can uh, try to get to play some games with other people. Uh, on top of a ton of announcements of like when anyone from Channel 13 goes live, uh, plus a select bunch of others. So it's got a little bit of everything for you. Where's Kim? There she is. Okay. I'm gonna kick this raid off now. I appreciate you all so much. I really hope that um, you all can hang out, jump over in the raid with me. Uh, and if you have some time, spend some time getting no kin. And uh, if you dig the content, consider hitting the follow button. It'd be super cool. I know she'd appreciate it. But uh, that's all for tonight. Uh, no stream tomorrow being Sunday, even though right now it's Sunday for me. It's 2 in the morning. Um, but we'll be back Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Kicking off Homebody again. 
I'm also going to have the schedule for next week out, um, probably end it by end of day tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, even though we know two thirds of what we're doing next week already for sure. <laughs> oh, there's ads. Fucking God damn it. All right. Well, we're going to just go then. That sucks. All right. <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs>